Hello. There we are. I don't know what the fuck happened That's there. That's really funny. Hi, guys. Our Welcome. Bit. Our bit. The first yeah. time we do a bit in like yeah. a long time and it gets muted. Uh, we were pretending like we weren't live. Um, we and basically we, and weren't. Craig was like <laughs> talking about uh, his credit card information and then handed uh, uh, Spencer his Costco card. Yeah. And it was very funny. But uh, you guys just got to see us mine that out. So that's kind of how <laughs> that happened. kind of so. funny to be Yeah. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> Death wind you know what's funny too is like we we did we didn't look super interested either. So anybody people are probably really confused, just being like, "What are they doing? Do they know that they're?" <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Barton once again with the sixty nine sixty nine Australian. Sheesh. Hi again, everyone. Uh, Jacob is probably reading this in a silly Australian accent, so a <laughs> guy might throw shrimp uh, throw shrimp on the Bobby. Anyway, yes. when Craig and uh, when is Craig and Sherrick and Sean hosting that Bionicle one shot? Oh. Hit us up. Is well, that his thing? You, no, well, you have to talk about to Sean because Sean's in charge of that. He's the DM, and I've not been given an invite. But I, would, I, th- I think Barden did just. Yeah, like, that's yeah, but, but I, I would if if uh, Sean wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, was, I, I, I totally play a Bonnacle game. <laughs> you would love me. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I'll join your. Well, yeah, I guess game. I could be a, a, a hey, fucking Emma. blue toa. That'd be rad. Can you hand me that? Black Journal, right there. When's the um, Void game? So, <laughs> I, speaking of that, I've been playing uh, Lego Lord of the Rings because uh, it's that su- is related. It's, it's I was like, fun. where's this going? <laughs> no, 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 it is related. Uh, it's super fun. And uh, you know, at the beginning, uh, so when much. Sauron is like all huge and he's like hitting people, when it's the please war- tell me they blow up with like little bricks. Uh, no, they just go flying. <laughs> uh, but Sauron is really big, so he's not a Lego. He's a bionic. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I it's find really funny. That. Oh, that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was really cool. So I, um, I also you also get an achievement at the beginning when you you have to walk with uh, Isildur and Elrond, Elrond uh, across the bridge when he's like cast it into the fire and he goes no yeah. and if you jump off as a Isildur you get an achievement that says it won't be that easy and it's like <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's oh, fun. That's love great. those Lego games. Um, uh, Brad Z also jumping in with the twenty bucks. Hey, first time here while you're live. Just finished getting caught up. This uh, the other day, and excited to see something new. Well, <gasps> hey, thanks for joining, Brad Z. Appreciate you throwing a twenty at us. All right, y'all. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Twenty. 20. <laughs> I love those pictures of those guys who have like, I ain't gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars, <laughs> and uh, uh, somebody's taking a picture of it, and they have twenty dollars in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So last we left. Oh. Guys, guys, we are sponsored by Beetle and Grimm. We are. Holy shit! Look at this fucking sick ass Van Richten shirt I got with, the, with their, with their thingy. Today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you can check them out. The link in the description. They make giant packs for the pre-written five E campaigns, along with mm-hmm. stuff like Pathfinder and Critical Role, and even coming up soon, coming on new one, Neon Dynasty, the new Whoa. Magic Gathering pack. Ah! It's gonna be really sick. So go check it out. There's a link in the description. The Wild Beyond the Witchlight sets are, sending, are getting sent out, and I got mine, it and it's really fucking cool. Did you dip? Is it <laughs> Maybe I did. Oh, are you showing him? Are you yeah. showing him Sauron? Yeah, there's <laughs> what? He's a fucking bionicle. He's like a game bag. That's gross. <laughs> it's really funny because it's like Whoa. it's almost frame for frame for the movie. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to fight him. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. All right. Good, fucking um, Makuta's strongest fucking ally. Last we Sauron. left off on Icewind Dale, Ram of the Frost Maiden. Colton, why don't you catch us up? <laughs> oh, fuck. This Thank is a mistake. Lord. I barely remember what happened <laughs> two minutes ago. Yeah? Um, you want me to catch us up? Okay. Remind me. Here, here's what I need. <laughs> where did we start last game? And then I can work, from, oh, I can work my brain from there. This is all you, man. It's your there. job, not mine. I don't remember where we started last game. So <laughs> we, do you want me to start from the very beginning? When, when you guys saved uh, Kazira's family from the wolves. That's right. The gnolls. We saved Kazira's family from the gnolls. Uh, went back to the... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. We went back to uh, Bryn Shander. Um, but before going to Bryn Shander, we stopped in the... Uh, the town whose name I always get wrong, so I will just refrain from saying it. East Haven. East Haven to go after, um, to go after the guy whose name is in my notes. This is why you don't make me do this. To go after Nerth. Um, Speaker Nerth. To get the to get the bucket. Yep. The the magic bucket of food and talk it's to Nerth. Him. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk to Nerth. And when we went. Uh, things went bad. They shot arrows at us, so we uh, we shot arrows at them and uh, stabbed them to death. Besides yeah. Nerth, and uh, actually, I don't think we killed any of them. Now that I think about it, no, no, no we didn't. We stabbed them to unconsciousness. Yes. Um, 
took Nerith and uh, the captain of the guard um, back to Bryn Shander, uh, revealed all to the speakers there, uh, told Nerith he was being a very bad boy, mm -hmm. um, found out that Sildry's old boss is in prison <laughs> for another month. And, I just want to uh, point out the telling Nerith he was a very bad boy is technically the truth, but it was also like the coolest RP you guys have done in this game. So I know. Good point. I know. I know. <laughs> but yeah, technically you did tell him he was a very bad boy. Um, dropped Kazira's family off, and then now we're going up to Lonely Wood to uh, to hunt a moose and fix my eyesight potentially. Perhaps. Yeah. So oddly enough, those are related. <laughs> they are. <laughs> and uh, they the are. moose may lead to the druids, which are what we're. Uh, we shall see. We're hunting for currently. We shall see. So, here's your map again, just in case you guys want to see it. We're just going to do a little Black. bit of a zoom in here. Whoa. A mm. little bit of a... Whoa! whoa. We're in the ten towns right now. So, I figure this will be a little bit more helpful to be zoomed in here. God, I have all these fucking dice, man. They're very pretty. Too goddamn many of them. Very shiny. Jesus Christ. So... You guys have just finished speaking with the speakers. You head back to... Uh, do you guys head back to your house, or are you just walking straight to I your next I think we went back to the house and dropped off people, didn't we? We did. We went back to the house and dropped everyone off, and then we were leaving yeah, in we, the morning. Yeah, because we talked to... You guys are leaving. Got it. Yeah. We said, we said some goodbyes. Okay. That's true. You did. I give it a little... Skeleton gob, uh, Oh yeah, I gave my I gave my kids those snakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you did give the kids those snakes. And they're named. So, the red one um, is Ruby, and then the green one is Blavicus von Zygeist. <laughs> I'm just more wondering if you guys are going to long rest or not. Uh, uh, I mean, probably. I think we need to if we move, sure. if we came yeah. from East Haven let's, to. Let's long rest. Uh, you you came from Targos. Targos to Brent Shander, that's what, I think hours? it is later in the day. So yeah. we'll just say that it is. Well, and, and you guys long we'll rest, see. and it's the next day, and you guys are going to travel to um, to, uh, lo uh, to to Lonelywood. So um, if you guys want to mark out your path for me on exactly which way you want to go, you guys are currently in Brent Shander. I'll probably go up I think to we'll Termaline. We'll go to, to cool Targos to Termaline to Lonelywood. Okay, Targos to Termaline to Lonelywood. Just like, Lonely let's Wood. actually take the road. So Brent Shander to Targos is two hours. Uh, Targos to... Oh, sorry. Uh... Targos to Termalane. Targos to Termalane like is four one. hours, so that's six. Um, oh, sorry, that's not these. I need to look in dog sled hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we have those. We have a dog sled. Mm -hmm. Dog <laughs> sled hours. Like sorry, like we, you guys have just been like real slow. Hours. Hours. I don't think we're gonna go into Targos. I think we're gonna just like yeah, we're just gonna go around. Yeah, we're just, gonna just leave, like right here. We'll yeah. save, save fifteen minutes doing that. Perfect. I just Ooh. don't want to go into Targus when we can kidnap their speaker. That's pretty, pretty yeah. fair. Pretty well, fair. Why not? <laughs> uh, I think I think bad things might happen, <laughs> so I don't want to get close to that there for for a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Targos to. Hmm. You're right. Oh no, never mind. I yep. No. Speaker Nair. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yep. <laughs> we, we did not ask permission. We come on, Colton. Didn't you listen to Colton during the recap? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Granted, you did say East Haven when I said we went to go get Nerith, and you went, yeah, East Haven. I went, okay. No, you no. guys were in East Haven, and then you went <laughs> gotcha, to Targos. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, uh, Bryn Shader to Targos on Dog Sled is one hour. the speaker of East Haven. Yes, that's what it was. We saved the speaker. stolen by the speaker of he Targos. Was not, he was not a very bad boy. No, he was a good boy. He, he was going to go to check he the had, later. There was some generic blackmail that you yeah, had to deal with. We found it. We, we handed that over. And we're but we didn't read it, because we're good people. It'll take you guys three hours and 45 minutes to get from Bryn Shander to Lonelywood. Fuck. On Ooh. the dog sled. It's easy. Yeah, we, yep. get, we get the heck out of here. Go Is that uh, already Clyde counting our 15 minute little... Whoop. It would be four hours, but it's three uh, hours and 45 minutes. Perfect. Hey. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. What, time, what time do you guys wake up and head out? Um, I don't know. 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. Yeah, sure. 8 a.m. Why not? All right. right. You guys uh, get up at 8 a.m. and head out. You uh, start trekking across the tundra, and for the most part today, these are my even fall dice. I think you should these, roll those instead. No, these ones are infused with the power of of like of of Lycus. Uh -huh, the, my, right. my 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 Icewind Dale ones are infused with the power of the Oral. No, I know that. That's why I think. Yeah, I think yeah. No. Lycus can't do anything in this game. Yeah, he, he really can't, can't. He can't hurt us. Where the fuck did they go? They're mm. gone. <laughs> the Frost Maiden. Gibbs and the Frost Maiden take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she do. <sighs> oh my god, oh they my disappeared. God. Um, mm. Oh! Weird. Hello. Hi. You win this day, Hello. yeah. 
Come here. Thank when you. I lost my fucking dice. Um, uh, that's Stop because me. I'm your arch enemy. D- <laughs> what did you do with it? <laughs> You'll never know. Oh, I guess I will never know. Generic blackmail later. You'll find him on break. <laughs> You'll be doomed. Wow, look at that. <laughs> no blizzard. Doomed. You guys are <laughs> You guys are traveling and um, it's clear outside. Um, uh, the sort of night sky up ahead and throughout the day you eventually see that small bit of sunlight sort of come upwards um, on, on the horizon. And it's sort of when you're going from Targos to Termlane, off of the Mare Dual Dawn to, um, uh, to, the, to the west. Um, you see off in the mountains towards the east where all of that cloud cover is. You just see a little bit of light just peeking through. Mm-hmm. For a moment you feel um, the presence and the warmth of Lathander just for a moment until it eventually slips, slips away. About... 11.45. You guys um, have left Tourmaline, um, which for the most part um, is trying to rebuild as well. A lot of the city... (laughs) No, you guys actually fought it in Tourmaline, and it didn't destroy most of Tourmaline. Um, You chased it down to Targos. Or to to Bremen. Yeah, I was going to say it never got to Targos, right? No. You guys beat it in Bremen. Um, But when you leave Tourmaline... And you make your way to Lonelywood. You come across what looks like um, complete destruction. Mm-hmm. It is a crater of a village. There's just wind blowing, a bit of snow in the air, ash everywhere. The entirety of Lonelywood is reduced to nothing. And trees sort of like um, are the only noise kind of rustling in the distance. There's no life, no animals, nothing. Just a destroyed town sitting on the mare duel dome. Usually you do see what look like two people sort of off in the distance who are sort of moving through the rubble, like two ten-towners um, in all of the, the furs and uh, the goggles sort of like picking through some of the rubble. You're not entirely sure what they're doing, but they're too far off for you to um, speak to them. What do you do? Shit. Guess we just continue on. Go through. Do you want to stop here? So it sounds much to see. Just need to get to the cabin. Okay. All right. Then we push through. So you guys are going from Lonelywood to the Black Cabin. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So you make your way north. You start following the uh, the the lake, completely frozen. Even though that art totally looks like it's not frozen, it definitely is. Ah. Um, and as you continue up north, you pass by these very tall, um, ominous forests, deep green sort of color with um, just an abyss beyond the first couple of line of trees. You see nothing beyond them. They're quiet. But occasionally, maybe once every 15 minutes, you do see what looks like a bird sort of mm. fly out of one of the trees. Time goes on as you walk. Towards the Black Cabin. Well, I figure out how far away Lonelywood is from the Black Cabin because I don't fucking know. That's uh, 15 minutes. Fi- oh, only 15 minutes? Yeah. Uh, the 15 minutes we save? You and so. Oh, you just use it to go to yeah, the. Yeah, got yeah, it, got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That little, uh, <laughs> yeah, that little like, turn right there? That, yeah, it's like, it's like, to it's like, stole, there. It's like <laughs> stolen yeah, time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just fills it right in. Trust me, guys. Don't mm-hmm. look in the book. Mm-hmm. doesn't have the answers. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> The map is loaded. Ah, it's that the loaded world screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I love this book. I love Ice from Dale, but I will never forgive them for not giving me uh, uh, a way to find out what the distance is between everything. So once we get, what are you even talking about? Don't they have like a little thing down at the bottom of the map? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just use that. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. That's, that's the tool they gave you to find out the no. distance. <laughs> They could have easily made a table, okay? Easily they could have made a table. table, exactly. Sure, yeah. sure. Um, but then they literally got involved. Like, what if I? What if we wanted to go to the Black Cabin from Caradineval? Well, you, they can just add that up at that point. You know what I mean? If they, you, they could have done it along the road. Well, I guess they could have done, yeah. but the Black Cabin's not on the road. Yeah, so from only one and then be like. I just want to let you know that when I want to calculate distance, I am opening roll twenty. I bought the module in roll twenty just so I could measure. <laughs> So that's some bullshit, is what I'm saying. 
All right, you get, guys get will get there it. in uh, three hours. Oh, not 15? Yeah. 3.8 nice hours, time. to be exact. So, like, uh, oh. three hours and 15 minutes. Exactly. I guess it makes sense because <laughs> you're not on the road. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Um, we, uh, do we need to, to stay here, then? There doesn't look like there's, there's nothing to oh, stay. Wait. That's a fair point. It'll be about the entire almost story? 4 o'clock by the time you guys get there. Do you okay. have Keen Mind? I do. This is, this is why. Is the entire uh-huh. town uh-huh. destroyed, then? It looks that way. There's two people over there, but mm. isn't? Didn't they say that the in Lonelywood that the the speaker was still here? Uh, from oh, what I heard, all one? of the people fled into the woods. Is it? Is this the one where? No, no, no. K or Koenig is the one where everyone died, and the speaker is yeah. oh. drinking himself to death. Lonelywood's right? Lonelywood's the one who had cookies. Yes, Mimsy. There were Mimsy. cookies here. There was. No. Mimsy something halfling woman. <laughs> As you guys um, continue on, Get tired you make your way towards the, the edge of the Mare Duel Dawn where it transforms into sort of like uh, the river that comes down, but it's completely frozen. <coughs> Sorry, give me one second. Uh-oh. And then as you guys are walking, you hear what sounds like the ice next to you begin to rumble. You're like... <coughs> Like echoing, sort of like cracking, it goes on for a while. Is this very far distant. is this the lake that people think something lives under? Yes. Ah, perfect. <laughs> great, 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 great. Uh, I'm That's gonna. A thing. Yes, I'm gonna just be ready for scary lake, lake monster. monster to pop out. Sort of turn and you watch, and as you 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 focus your attention over at the lake, you hear <laughs> cracking once again. Well, and then again, I think something's coming out of the lake. Okay, are we on the lake? No, you're next to it. You're walking on that little like, uh, like, like this in the in between the four. Yes, you're you're on that right there. So you're not on it, but you're next to it. Okay, maybe we, maybe we stop for a second. Stop. As soon as you stop, it goes quiet, and then. There's an explosive spout that comes out of this, um, uh, not more than maybe about 500 feet um, out into the middle of the lake. And you see a bunch of water and ice just go up into the air. And you see this thing, kind of a silhouette, sort of come out of the water. And you watch as more of the ice begins to break and more of it. And you watch crawling out of the, um, of the, of the frozen lake is our Veraturus. Oh, great. With a, uh, with about... With like, uh, um, <laughs> so there's something in her mouth. There's some sort of like creature that's in her mouth. Um, it maybe it sort of looks like like uh, like a large blubbery. Like it could be a whale or a walrus, but this is a lake, so that doesn't really make sense. You're not really sure what it is. Uh-huh. She comes out, and you watch as all of the ice on her begins to like drip and fall off her body, and she sort of like turns. And you notice the wizard is back on her back. I grab <laughs> Sildry like and I there. pull her behind me. Okay, you immediately shove Sildry behind you. Sildry, you have no idea what's going on. You just hear some yeah. huge creature um, sort of... And you hear like... How far are we close to the tree line? Hey, yeah. so what's uh, happening exactly? 20 feet. Um, we need to flee. Into, yeah. into the trees. Into grab the me around the waist. You guys turn you. Yeah, yeah. and begin uh, to run tr- into the trees. Dragon. You gotta run. And as you begin to run into the trees and yeah. sort of turn, you watch as you just you hear the enormous uh, wings begin to flap, and uh, 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 you watch as she just ascends upwards into the air, pretty quick speeds as she heads upwards, she's <laughs> off towards the north. No, okay. Wait, towards the north? So we were going. Sorry. Right. Um, <laughs> back to her horde, whatever. Yeah. Um, that was our Veritores. Yeah. Well, now we know what uh, lives under the lake. Or what frequents the lake. Are we sure that... How how big was the thing that was in her mouth? Probably large-sized. Okay. Like, may, it could be a horse. No, okay. I'm like, it could have been the thing that she ate. It could have been. Didn't think about that. But I guess it could also have been the dragon. <laughs> I don't know which one I'd prefer. Do you want to roll like an animal? Sure. Like, uh, roll, nature. Nature. roll nature. Roll mm-hmm. nature. Uh, twenty-six. It looked like um, a, uh, it's a specific type of fish uh, called 
I, I don't have a name for it, but it, it is a like giant a, fucking fish. Giant fucking fish. Okay. It's like a bottom feeder of like a lake, uh -huh. um, and it's just really, really, really big. No, they call that a giant fucking fish. Oh, yeah, I see. Mm. Mm. Oh, good to know. Yeah, GFF. Yeah, giant fucking fish. I've heard that's what the ten towners call it. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't know what they're GFF. actually called. GFFs. Yeah. Uh, I think we're probably fine to keep going. She didn't see us. Okay. Well, that's good. At least I don't think she saw us. I didn't see her. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I feel like it's probably a good thing that she didn't see us. She would have. I think she would have recognized us. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Probably. We could rest here. She's not comfortable doing that. No. We go to the tree line if you want. Spencer? Yes. Where is uh, Mike Wayne? Um, by is the NCR helmet thing? Yeah. That should be a rogue one. It is. Um, or we could keep going. Either way, I feel confident. That's a big push. Push? Well, no matter what. The cabin might be better. No matter what, at the rate we're going, we're going to have to spend a night in the wild. I'd rather than a cavern. Or the cabin if we can. Yeah. That's true. I guess the guy might be also starving to death, so. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> it probably is better if we see him. It's the first time I've ever said we need to make sure those gray beards good to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to the cabin. Mm. Okay. The hours go by. And eventually, in the distance, you see what looks like uh, this cabin. Just kind of sitting in the middle of nowhere. Wait one second. Here's what you guys see. I'll give it to them and then I'll flip it for you guys in a second. If it'll, if it'll load. Yeah. Um, Ooh, yeah. Credits to James RPG Art. Support yeah. him on Patreon. It's animated images of places and games. Um, especially very cool because there's actually no art of this in the game, so... It's pretty sick. Very talented man. <laughs> Perched on the edge of a snowy ridge above a gorge is a black lodge on wooden stilts. Whatever path might have led to this ramshackle retreat lies buried in the snow. One second. Icy steps climb to a snow-covered walkway that clings to the south side of the structure. The building's slumped posture and sagging snow-covered roof, coupled with the broken windows and loose flapping shutters, suggest utter abandonment. Large snowdrifts huddle around the rotting stilts and engulf a nearby woodshed and outhouse. Only the wind visits this sinister place. Mm -hmm. You recognize some of the architecture built here, Lazarus. Okay. Same people who helped you bring your, um, give you your limbs. Mm. It's very obvious to you that this uh, cabin was built by rangers of the north. Okay. But it's old and um, <coughs> was likely just left here. Okay. You, um, for the most part, <coughs> with the sagging roof and the decrepit nature of this, you don't know how long it's been here. Okay. And we're here? You guys are there. You see okay. it. Um, there is that uh, what looks like an outhouse right out front, and then the entrance um, that, and that staircase that sort of goes up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a better view here because I do have a map. I'm gonna put the dog somewhere. Um, yeah. There, the architecture itself reminds me of the people that helped me, the Rangers of the North, but doesn't look the same. Most potentially abandoned. Maybe someone has taken up. It. It's hard to say really. You guys are over there on that side. You want to put your um, minis over there. Should look around. Probably not that close. <laughs> yeah, I guess. By, by those trees need, over there. Yeah. Moved. <laughs> Inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually there. there. I jumped over the railing. All your blazers mm -hmm. with the bear. Or with the, with with the dogs. The, uh, the dogs. Do you want to look around? Get inside. Probably a good idea. Yeah, let's 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 look around a bit. I'm gonna try to do a, a peek around. Peek around? Like what? Like, uh, try to get inside. Okay. Um, there is that staircase sort of over there that leads up, because, uh, okay, like, as a picture, it's, it's on stilts. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I see. There are oh, yeah, like two staircase. doors kind of on the front there. 
I mean, we're here to deliver food to the guy that lives in here, right? It doesn't yes. look like anyone's home. Mm. That's a good point. Are there any, like, lights? Or? Nope. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will go up first. Okay. Yeah, just put, put me, if anything, put me in that little corner there. I'll move all the way to the staircase, yeah. Okay. There's a wooden walkway. Uh, as you make your way up, and Lazarus, you're heading up first. Yeah. Uh, the Jordan, entrance to this me. cabin are off of these the rickety snow, yeah. the snow-covered walkway. The steps and boards crackle and creak underfoot as you walk up them. Hmm. Are the doors open? Um, there's the door there, and yeah. then there's the doorway over there. You oh. want to walk over to that door? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like you head over towards it. Um, they sort of, as you walk in each one, it, 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 some of them feel stable and then some of them don't. Some of them like, and then yeah. you step off the other, but they're enough to support your weight. You make your way over to that door and, um, uh, do you open it? Um, does it have a good seal on it? Does it look like the doors are broken? Can, can uh, I check like the it's hinges? It's like sagging a bit. The, hinge, uh, the hinges are there. It's sort of sagging. Um, it's sealed pretty well, um, but it looks like maybe you have to like pull it up and push it. Okay. But it doesn't look. Can I just give it like a little, like a little push? Does it, does it like move in its space? Yeah, it does. It sort of like wobbles in its space. And from maybe the previous angle is that could I see if this door is closed? <laughs> the door is closed. Okay, um, I'm gonna look back to zero. Just so you guys know, um, just so I'm communicating properly, all of those trees down there, that is a cliff side. Um, and that cliff side is about. Oh. It's a gorge. And oh yeah, it's about, I see. Um, okay. I'm gonna have. Whose bright idea was it to build a cabin on stilts right next to it? I a... wonder if it wasn't poised next to a. Yeah. Uh, that's edge. possible. Okay, I'm gonna then put my arm on like the hand, the door and then move to the right of it. I'm gonna let Kazira breach and clear. Okay. I'm just gonna open the door and I'll have Kazira kind of push it open. Rush in if, yeah. if, if that's what you want to do. Oh yeah, I can do that. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna kind of. I'll move us. I'll move this way. <laughs> and I, I'll, can, uh, I can do it. I'll let. Because uh, Zero kind of take up that space there. You and throw open the door. Then I'll throw it open. As you throw open the door, frost covers every surface of what appears to be an abandoned workshop. The windows are just letting in the wind and the cold. There's a set of smith's tools and a set of tinkerer's tools spread across a wooden table along with what look like twisted bits of metal. There's a bookcase against the north wall that as um, what looks like, as you look over at it, um, like a little bit of movement, and then they notice you as soon as the door opens, and you see like a bunch of squirrels sort of like okay. uh, peter down and run into the different parts of the floorboards and scatter. Squirrels? Oh. Squirrels. Iceman deals rats. Rats. Mm -hmm. Okay. But nothing? No. Not really anything. Does it look abandoned? Was there like a, it was there like a, a scuffle in here? Roll survival. Oh, shit. 23. Those are some cool dice. Thank you. They're my Balkans data. You make your... <laughs> that's cool. You make your way into the room, Lazarus. I rolled the same thing with digital dice, too. Oh. Whoa. They're both the same. That's crazy. You go down into the room. sort of snow covering everything, and you look around. There are no footprints. Only the small footprints of the squirrels. No mm. scuffle, nothing. It just looks like this place does look like it was abandoned. Things were left here. And never touched again. Okay. Um, the amount of snow, though, that you do see suggests maybe a week or two. Okay. Um, all right. I'll come out. This place worries me. It seems to be a hanging precariously off this part <laughs> over here. I would almost think me and Soldier should be the ones going in. No offense to either of you two, but... No, you're fine. You're all pretty thick. Yeah. Are you saying that I am getting fat? No. No. Just that you're built. Yeah. For top. Then, for top. Yeah. Like a <laughs> fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute unit. Yeah. I, I will. I can sit out here. It's quite a big gap over there, though. I'm going to have yeah. to guide her over that. Mm. That's true. I can probably jump it. Okay, Whatever it, it is. Okay, it's a, a gap. It's a pretty big gap. It could fall. I could jump it. I could okay, toss it. I, I would rather just find where the gap starts and jump from there. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to go down and stand underneath the gap. Okay. I will also go tell you, Sildry, that the gap 
if you jump, if you were to jump a little too far, you could stumble, hit the next gap, and then go tumbling off of the gorge. Yeah. I want to so. whistle and have it's my special Blazers <laughs> come over here. This okay. is literally my and job. I'm gonna throw down a rope to, to you. A couple of years. They tie your bolt yourself together. <laughs> okay. Just, I'll just, be just like, in case. I'm gonna look at Blazers. Mm. Be like, you, you gonna be okay with this? <laughs> So you use like rough. 25 feet of the rope to tie it around his stomach. It's like, what are you doing? I'm trying to sit like right here and just be an anchor for all of us because we fall off. He does. He, he listens to you. You're yeah. just like, get over there. He sits and he just plants his ass down. I pat it's his very face. sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm like, all right. All right. Good luck. I'm going to cast jump on myself. Okay. And I'm just going to go like 30 Boing. feet. All right. You watch as uh, the, the springs and uh, the uh, the mechanisms within your um, legs just sort of like uh, <laughs> power up and like shift. And you just <laughs> jump forward and land on the other side. How much does Lazarus weigh? Uh, that's a good question. It's his weight plus his um, how plus do I his how do I figure that out? Well, if um, you go to if you go to it? inventory, um, you should at least be able to see your equipment weight. And then uh, you may have put a weight in for him when you when you made him in Could your description. In your description. If not, then we can figure it out. I do not have a weight for him. Okay. okay. At the very least, you can figure out your inventory weight. 50 pounds is what I have on me. You have 50 on you? Yeah. That's All what right. I'm currently Then uh, don't worry about it. You uh, jump forward and land, and as soon as you land, uh, the walkway immediately <laughs> just collapses under your foot. Oh. Roll a dexterity saving throw. I am positioned to catch. Fuck Got it. Every 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 time I just see a little roll pop up. Uh, that is a eleven. That is enough. You uh you it, you as you fall you turn and immolation you're like oh shit as you go forward and you like pull him uh uh like towards you but uh you were just enough to where you fall into the snow next to immolation and take one bludgeoning damage. You do not cl- uh, fly off the gorge though. I take one bludgeoning damage. You take one bludgeoning damage because you fell twenty feet into the snow. Okay. Halved because you're raging. Yeah. Yes. So half. The exactly. Point of um. Uh, okay. I'm like, okay. So, so wait, 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 wait. Well, no, no, no. What, what, what happened? Well, uh, I, I, they jumped and fell through. It's just, it's just seems like it just can't support all. Did, uh, did you land on one foot? Did you me, land on me, both feet? Let me show you this real quick. So like you were over on that edge down uh-huh. there, and you like it was a twenty foot fall, the snow cushion yeah. to fall, but um, you were able to, the dexterity save wasn't to avoid it, it was just to make sure you didn't fall off the gorge. You just no, no, down no, no, yeah, I'm thing. on the ground now, okay, cool, cool. I like could, yelling out. I could crawl along the wall. That might be best. And then at least open the door. Does does it, can I tell if the door would swing out or in? Both. Both? Well, I, I could, I could, I could open the door and, and then. You wait properly, you probably won't fall through. And then if you. <sighs> Maybe. Were to, uh, I think we let Kazira climb up. I'm try that out. Try oh, okay. Let me get out of the way. Because you can't see. I have no doubt in your talents. Uh, Sildry's also just very proficient at this. She's you I, can I just, jump. I, I would just I think we can, if we can let Kazir use the walls, mm-hmm. that might just be safer. You take out your, uh, your, how, is it, do you have Spider-Man or do you have clawed fingers? Probably Spider-Man. It's okay. Less yeah, gross. you just uh, go over and begin to uh, push yourself and crawl along the side of the walls. I'm so weird. Got it. And as you make your way over towards the door, you sort of like flatten out and go over towards the door and you just swing it open? Yeah, I'm going to try to open it. Swing it open. And when you peer inside, you see what looks like. Um, um, do you look inside? Yeah, I'll look. I'll just do a peek. The room contains lingering. Oh, sorry. Do you, do you breathe? No. All right. I don't, I don't do when that. When you look inside, uh, snow has fallen through holes in the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been pushed into the corners by stiff winds blowing through the broken windows. The walls and furniture are scorched to black, including a table with the charred remains of a book on it. Next to the table, on the floor, amid several broken wine bottles, is a mostly incinerated skeleton and a round, frost-covered object about six inches in diameter. All right, go ahead and hop over. All right, so, Jacob, if the issue, um, number one, I'll take off uh, the shield and my pack and just kind of throw it down to immolation. And then if the issue um, that we're having here is that people are falling, right? 
following through. I would like to try to do uh, fancy acrobatic stuff um, to distribute my weight through the fall so that I'm not just landing on one foot and like putting all of my weight into one point. My okay. theory is if I distribute the weight among the bridge, I might not fall through. You want to parkour over to inside? Yeah, basically. Go ahead. And I'm roll going to be check. ready to catch her just in case. This okay. Fits. Um, and and are you inside? No, I'm probably like in the doorway. All okay. of my stuff. Oh, she's gonna jump here. All of my stuff mm-hmm. outside of my um, whip and my armor, I have thrown down in, in my pack to okay. emulation. Okay. So. Can I have one arm hooked in the doorway and the other one out to like yes. grab her? That's what I figure you do. Twenty-four. Um, it's yeah. You don't break any of the planks as you run over, sort of push off the wall, push on another plank, and then jump over. Kazira grabs you and pulls you in. You, Sildri, immediately because you don't see anything, but you smell the like burnt wood and flesh. Okay. You also catch a faint odor of wine as well. Uh, I don't know if this is the guy we're looking for, but he's dead. Yeah, I can smell like, the fire. Uh, the wine. She's actually inside. I, wine? Oh, yeah, wine. Uh, and he, uh, something burned him. Jacob, does it look like something came in through the, the roof? Mm, no. No? No. Do you want to go up? Um, I'm just afraid of it, of it not being able to hold the weight. Are there, well, there are holes in the planks, right? Yeah. I guess say we could I'm totally try. Like you're tall enough. Oh, to pull yeah. yourself up. That's fine. Um, just to go back to what you were saying, it, it looks like some of the some of the roof uh, is missing, but it doesn't. Right. But there's just like pieces of it missing. It doesn't look like something mm. came in. In fact, I, I'm not gonna have you roll. It looks like something exploded. Okay. Which might explain. And it the like it, it destroyed a portion of the f- uh, uh, a, a portion of everything in like a radius, including the ceiling. It sort of blew okay. open a portion of it. What type? What is the skeleton? Like, is it is it human? Charred. Is it? Right? Can I tell, Can you tell what, what race it is? Race it is. Um, without getting close to it, roll a medicine check. Because the guy we're looking for was a Eleven. gnome. I think he was a dwarf. Was it a dwarf? Sure what he was. Did they say? Um, I have his name and who sent us. Macritus. 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 Is that all? Nah, that we know? I just wrote I north we... of Lonely Wood. I Why don't... did they think we had a? Ring? I don't Cretus. think I. I don't think I went with you guys though. So. As you look over at the skeleton and you sort of see the length of it and height, it appears human. Human guy. Human. I mean, I guess Macritus could be a name that any race could use, pretty reliably. Okay. You guys know. Uh, what race Macritus was? Like, is he human? Is he a dwarf? I don't know if couple parts specified. I think he just said his friend. From uh, out in the cabin in the woods, he was dealing with a device and they were, were to take provisions. That's uh, what I remember. He was doing what? He was dealing with something with a device. Maybe experimenting Looks like his uh, device exploded. Might have blew him up. Could have. It's unfortunate. Are we, are we going to pull you up here? Is there, like, a space... In yeah, the so floor? We, we could, like, drop a rope down and then and you pull. you could stand on Lazarus and we could just pull you up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're and just going to pull emulation up with the, yeah, the rope? Yeah, there's a hole in the well, floor. Well, Lazarus could... She wants to stand on Lazarus. There's not a hole in the floor. Okay. Is there a hole in, like, the, the planks? The planks? Near the door? The, 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 the yeah, you could pull... Yeah, these planks are really weak right here, though. Mm. What you could do is you could stand in the doorway and the planks that Lazarus broke away, you could just pull her up through there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, the two of you are able to do that, and Emulation, you are able to be pulled Perfect. up. They help you up as well, and you are now inside the camera. Awesome. And then uh, pull up the Lazarus. Lazarus. Oh, yeah, as a man held. Yep. We, you the, probably the can't bear, pull you can't like I said, the bear up. might be a lost cause. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he, he needs to stay out here anymore with know. all of stuff. Uh, guard. Uh, yeah. guard. Guard. Guard bear. You want to try? <laughs> count for a uh, size larger when I'm... Oh, nice. you do? I think no, he probably, just, I think he'd immediately could fall through the floor. No, yes. I think that's absolutely I'm true. <laughs> I think I could get and him off up. The... But <laughs> we, we don't doubt that. <laughs> Untie okay. the rope from him? What type of okay. bear is Blazarus? He's a brown Can you guys put your minis where you're standing? I will be here. I'm gonna Perfect. As you step there, Kazira, oh. I need you to roll. <laughs> if you're going to stand there, you need to roll a dexterity saving throw. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I carried that... That statue that was big heavy. I thought it was just a big curse. So put us where we both. where we're going to be standing. I'd probably walk in a little bit. Well, where where is the skeleton boy? Hang on, because I would move towards the smell. 
So probably like off this way or something. I'll tell you. Um. <laughs> okay. So that means everybody except for Lazarus needs to roll. So as you guys all step in and you begin to walk forward, it sort of creaks downwards and you make your way over towards the skeleton and immolation is up as well. The floor just <laughs> and just gives away. Okay. Um, all three of you uh, roll Plus that four for you. Oh, okay. Um, Hopefully I won't need it. <laughs> yeah, you're too far away, but you, you don't need it. Never mind. Uh, I mean, I have a plus seven to my deck saves, so they're one of the ones I'm good at. Uh, 18. 18. Deck save? Sildur, you wouldn't be all the way over there yet. You'd be right next to Kazira. I'd be here? No, right next to Kazira. Yeah. Well, because right I was here, yeah. so I would have gone diagonally. Like, to... Oh, then never mind. Don't roll. No, I'll, I'll do there, then. Okay. If that... <laughs> Possibly, too. I'd probably step to the side. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> so, wait, so if I'm there, then I get your plus four also, so 22. Okay. Um, Nine. Nine? Eleven. Eleven? Twenty-two. Okay. Nine? Yeah, I rolled a three. Oh. Yeah. It happens. Yep. Rolled a five. Yeah. No. Unfortunately, sometimes you just can't see. No. Nope. <laughs> Alright. I got a backup character. Yeah. Mm. So, Plans as the as you guys all step in, the, uh, 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 just to re-describe, uh, you guys are pulling inwards. The skeleton, I believe, if I, I'm just like trying to double check, I think I'm right. Um, is is there in this it, where like Kazira is standing? Oh, like, that's okay. like where he that's is. why I was wanting to go. Yeah, yeah, that's why, why I was saying you'd be next to them because you were walking that way. Gotcha. As you guys all walk forward, the floor just begins to sag and then just sort of like breaks open. Um, I, th I think. Hang on, sorry, it's a little confusing, but that's I'm fine. just gonna like double check just no, to make you're, sure I'm right. Mm -hmm. You're good. Um, you did you did a whole video about how if this is wrong then it could be a whole yeah, big deal so it needs to be right and that's fine and all that stuff yeah, yeah stupid yeah, and yeah. dumb and stupid and dumb don't fall through yeah, the floor yeah, yeah. Geez, yeah you could just you could just say we don't fall staples <laughs> like, not you not sponsored. sponsored by staples a sponsored by Beatles and Grant mm. indeed <laughs> better than staples. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, not only that company, just just literal staples. Uh, yeah, 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 there was, was, a, it was a like from that. Yeah. Just, uh, just standard staples. staples. Unfortunately, you cannot find the stapler. Okay, so oh, it okay. does not describe to me, so I'm gonna just decide where everything goes. If you guys are cool with yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna have a little thing here. So the floor right here yeah. is uh -huh. is uh, is what falls inwards. Right. Okay. The body okay. and the okay. and the device are over here. Okay. okay. So as you guys sort of just walk in, the floor just begins to fall. And as, uh, what did you get, Kazira? 11. Kazira, you jump forward and grab onto, oh, 11? Uh-huh. What did you get, Sildry? 22. Okay, Sildry, you're on the edge. So you're able to run forward, and um, as the floor is just falling behind you, you grab onto the um, the side. And Lazarus, you watch as Sildry just, like, grabs herself, and Immolation and Kazira behind them just descend. And the two of them just fall. They're uh, gone. The two of you fall all the way downwards into the gorge underneath the cabin. Oh! And both of you take 49 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god! You okay. scrape against one of the trees, hit a bunch of branches, and slam into the snow. Immolation, you follow just after, yeah. sort of just uh, uh, almost going like shoulder down first and roll into the ground. Are both of you still alive? I'm alive, but that is massive. I Roll a constitution saving throw. Can I use my stones and dirt? Yes, you can. Please. Please and thank you. <laughs> the earth. Yep. That makes sense. That's five plus so that I will gain nine back. Oh, for those that. ones are bad. Uh, okay. Is it massive for you as well? How much Do was I? it? Uh, 49. 49, so it would be 40. I'm 77, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. roll constitution table. Do I fall near you like, to like get the... Within 10 feet, can I... Can yeah. you guys like my <laughs> Yes, I'll okay. give it to you. Perfect. Um, Should I intercept? <laughs> 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 I got you! <laughs> it's still only a 13. Oh, shit. All right, roll d10. Are you? Uh, it's massive. Yes. So, but you're still. I am. I'm alive. still conscious. So it's just system shock. Yeah. Got it. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Also, roll a d10. Nine. I've already lost a finger. Just so you know. Well, when, when we that's roll right, this, you have yeah. Lost a finger. So. <laughs> Six. Six. What'd you get, Kazir? Nine. Nine. 
Both of you are fine. You hit the ground and you're reeling from the pain. You are, uh, you, <laughs> you just can't take reactions. You're just like, ah! Oh! So you like turn towards the side. Um, uh, immolation. Um, you, you're the same way, but it's just for six seconds. You can't, you have disadvantage on everything. So you guys are still up and you're, you're alive, but you hit the ground and it hurt bad and you sort of just like turn into the snow um and look up just see a couple of other planks to sort of fall down lazar sildry what are you guys doing i'm gonna uh, uh, sildry don't move well I mean, sildry I'll, is I'll, currently i will pull only, myself up if yeah, i can yeah, yeah. if you pull Stop. yourself up roll an uh, athletics check an athletics an athletics <laughs> hang on wait let me make sure that's right sorry what is this great thing? I have to paint the back of because you're hit. So you the bulbs. Yeah, roll. Oh, no, he does. He cracked on the branch. Uh, <laughs> My hair. Get, he's almost done. Oh, I'm gonna go roll. ahead and do that. And this I, dice is going in gel. I okay. used mine too. I'm so Much better. Up. Fifteen. Okay. It was a six. <laughs> And I don't you, want to take any chances with that. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, though. A six would have uh, been, you. Uh, if you fail by, f- the DC's ten, if you fail by five or more, you slip and fall. Um, a six would have just been, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, better, I'm fine with this. Fifteen. It's literally uh, you, my job to do this You swing stuff. your leg over and roll onto the other side. Okay. And you're good now. Okay. Uh, I will mark where <gasps> the hole is. With darkness. Uh, don't move. They yeah, I don't think there's much I can do about that. No, no, no. Yeah, we need to we need to assess real fast. Oh, uh, we're alive. Can we I, hear them? How I think she's fall? alive. About yeah. 140 feet. <laughs> we, we can hear, hear them, them still. You hear the distant like. Uh, okay. All right. Well, sounds at least they're not unconscious. <laughs> okay. Uh, fuck. <laughs> it's just a <like laughs> gap. It's just a chasm. Okay. So I guess I need to move myself to there. Is. Um, you said the body and stuff was over here. Mm-hmm. I'll see if there's anything useful over here. And then, I, mean, if you, I don't know if it's safe to move over there. If, yeah. it, if it breaks open, you won't fall into the chasm at least. Uh, yeah. Okay. If it breaks open, I'll just fall into the snow, right? Okay. In theory. Well, I think if we do any more structural damage, the whole thing could could, could just go. Yeah. Okay. Well, then <laughs> I will. I will. We should just get the. If I start to feel like the floor is gonna crack underneath me, I will not <laughs> keep moving. But. Like, if I feel it starting to get bad, then you I will... get to the skeleton. Okay. Uh, can I investigate what's on this What's on this boy? Before that, what are you two doing? I'm going to, when I can, get up. Make sure that she's not dead. You're up. You're sore. You go over to Emulation. She's also good. alive. I'm good. Yeah. Um, how, how far down are we? About 140 feet. 140 feet. Um... Is this seem like a sheer cliff face or something that like a mountain go- could get up? Or maybe a Goliath. <laughs> you could try to climb it if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. It's it's pretty sheer, but you could try to climb it. Okay. Um, because I also have fine steed. Um, oh! Ride a mountain summon goat. Summon a horse. <laughs> summon a mountain goat to ride you back up. That's so good. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> Holy a shit. A giant mountain goat? Can yeah. you make one? I says find I Steve, just can find have some. a war horse, a pony, a camel, an elk, or a mastiff. Your GM might allow other animals. Okay. To I a will, giant I mountain will goat let, makes sense. Yeah. I will totally <laughs> let you create a mountain goat to climb up the side of this cliff. Okay. Um, I still have the mountain goat make checks, but its DC yeah. will be much lower, and it's and it, it, will, uh, it will only have to make like two or three, and it can have advantage. Perfect. I'll so how like, d- how does Immolation summon a goat? I'm like, oh wait, how how wounded are you? I'm at 21 of 70. Here, why don't you have like another? Let's just say 20 points. Okay, that's that's, you have that's good. 20 Thank points, you. and I'm gonna I'm gonna lie here. I'm gonna think really hard about this Fay being, mm-hmm. and try to. She probably is gonna like pull out like a little felt from her purse mm-hmm. that was like. Um, like goats that she's yeah. met before. Yeah, of course. Of <laughs> because, course. you know, she has bird seed in her pouch, too. She collects things from animals. Don't ask questions. Oh. Okay. I won't. Yeah, and she'll be like, so... Don't ask questions. I don't... I've only seen this happen, like, at a distance and only at, like, a circus before. So I don't know if this will work. What are you gonna do? You're not easily spooked by animals, are you? No, I... No, okay. I'm gonna create... An animal. Just one second. And it's, it's like ten minutes of her like Kazira goes ten to minutes. like make an awkward face at Lazarus and realizes, oh, I'm in a chasm. 
<laughs> I like the idea. You're actually in it like a different part of like a forest too. Like it like, goes on. It's not just like a chasm. Yeah. It, it, like it's the not. cabin is up on like a cliff. You guys just like fell down. Yeah. Your your spell Use component it. should be like a Billy Goat's like actual right. thing. You have to like put it on. <laughs> <laughs> She's, so she and goes like, like just wait. I'm like you. You can start climbing up if you if you want. But I think I think this is gonna work. I hear little Billy yeah, talking to me right now. Little, little Billy. Billy. We, we go back to surgery. We're going to see what's on this. This is a horrible Just situation. Kind of I think they might be dead. Oh, no. Because you're going to start Maybe something up here there. will help. God, there's something down there with them. You got, you, as you look, oh, you are climbing speed. Yeah, so yeah. Climb. Yeah, you're just, yeah, I, I, I'm going to go, go get rope. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Little Billy's here. You as you make it to the, um, as you start climbing, you look up, you see uh, blazers. Hi, bud. I think I think they're good. That's good. Blasters, help them out of that hole. Just don't fall in the hole. He, he just looks down. down. He backs up. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you, I uh, you go over to the skeleton soldier. Mm-hmm. You can tell that it belongs to a male human. Um, and little sure, I, can. Riddle, <laughs> I guess I can you, feel you around the, and like the, grab the eye holes, <laughs> the, the, the pelvis. <laughs> yeah, You're like oh, it's a male. That's a male one. Little remains of his clothing. Damn it! But a, but don't just read the book, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Are you investigating the skeleton? Uh, yeah, I'll look, see what I can find on him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what is my investigation? Plus three, eighteen. Uh, you, um, look through the skeleton, and you find what looks like an amulet that was around its neck. Okay. It's gold. Okay. And it, um, it has a, it's a, it's like a cut to a medallion. Cool. The medallion on I the can bottom. tell the medallion, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't see what's on it. Okay. Is that everything that I find? Uh, yeah, you just find the, you find the medallion. You also, there is that object that is sort of next to the skeleton. I'll check the object. Okay. You go over. Mm-hmm. You grab it. Okay. Lazarus. Yes. You see an a bright light coming from Sildry. Oh, what the fuck? You unfortunately do not see it. No. <laughs> right. And you can tell... Does anything feel weird th- with this? This is... No. You're just holding it. This okay. is like three seconds. Gotcha. There is an extremely bright light coming from Sildry, um, and it's coming from her hand. Okay. Is there anything that you and would react it's with it's within like, the three, like three seconds? seconds? I'm saying it's like three seconds. Okay. But I'm saying I'm saying yes. The, so something's I, gonna happen. I guess for, for yes, yeah, so for, for my preference or for for my understanding, she picks it up and then it glows, as in like it's going to explode. Like glow. You look at it and it's just like bright light sort of blossoms out from it. Okay. I guess I'll just say, fuck. <laughs> if it looks that way. Oh fuck. It, it, I might, to be honest, I might jump and then just jump that way. <laughs> like out? Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to get blown back and then <laughs> oh, fall back. Roll I, I think I'm going to get the oh, fuck out of here and unfortunately abandon you. I would flip your coin if it wasn't flipped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can flip because yours. All right, because yours, yours is flipped because of what Lazarus did. Constitution. I want. I want. No. I. I. I want to give you inspiration because I think that that's a very well. Like, wait, you could give in character give thing to do. Constitution. No, it's fine. Constitution. Is that what you said? Ten. Two points. Lazarus, you <laughs> look and you see the bright light, and as uh, like the way I'm going to describe it, you'll yeah. understand. It is the beginning before an explosion. Oh, it's the, that's what I thought. And you're like, you jump out of the door, you land on the snow, you take one blushing again. Lazarus, please. <laughs> and like, you watch inside the cabin, and you just see a. <laughs> That's what I swear. All about. of the lights in the windows blow out. Get on right. the ground. And you, you, Kazira, hear like, and you look up and you see like more planks of wood just sort of fall. Uh oh. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. Okay, okay. so it's fucked. Billy, right. do you hear No, me? the structure is still there. Whoa. It was just a bright light that came from the inside. It sort of shook the whole building, but the building is still there. You hear it, that? It, I'm gonna mess with you. Am I good? Am I like shell shocked? Uh, no. No. I'm gonna, I guess I'll get up. Sildry? Sildry? Talk to me. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I'm gonna get up. Did the explosion take out the bottom half of this wood? Can I kind of go see if, like, it blew, like, the, the planks out from underneath her? 
Yeah, you go underneath, and actually, no, it's actually pretty reinforced under here. Um, they sag a little bit because of the age, but it actually didn't blow up in the floor. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, what's around me? What do I see down here? <clears throat> what? What do I see around me? Uh, you see like the stilts in the ground. Um, it's like twenty feet up. Uh, it's mostly just the underneath of the of the of this of this building. Okay, I will uh, very quickly summon. I'll put like so, uh, like two little fucking mm -hmm. uh, snowballs together, and I'll summon my um, my little bird again. Okay, and I'll draw the circle and go. If Sildry's down, unconscious, jump in the circle. Go. <laughs> I'll wait. Boink. He jumps in the circle. <laughs> Piece of I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it and try and rush <laughs> it back up there okay. if I can. Far out behind one of the trees, a golden glowing sunlight being, a ghost <laughs> <in the laughs> <He's like, laughs> looks over towards you, um, and it just gestures to its back. <laughs> get on, love. Billy, I knew you were real. Just gonna get on his back. Billy, no one else you believed to, in you, Billy. He jumps upwards and he just sidles on the side of, of the of the of the cliff side. It's like whoa, it's very strange. And yep. he jumps up again, and then he jumps up again. And Kazira, you pull yourself up, and as you do, you just see immolation sort of like whoo, come up the side of like this goat and poof, slide down into the snow. And Blaster's like whoo. It's Billy. It's Billy, guys. Uh, Blaster's taught me. No, he didn't. <laughs> and you, as you pull yourself up, and the two of you look over underneath the cabin, you just see Lazarus like just running around and panicking. We're okay. Sildry's down. Oh fuck! There's an explosion. I'm oh. gonna try and jump back up here if I can. Uh, you still have your jump spell, so yeah, you just <laughs> you just <laughs> jump back up. You look inside, <laughs> and you just see what looks like just floating ash in the room. Oh shit! The item she was holding is rolling on the floor, and it sort of stops. And she's in the room. I uh, I don't know what I think she was I'm gonna try to get up there and crawl along the wall you make your way up um, you see the same thing uh, uh, don't touch that thing uh, oh, I won't fuck. oh no oh. do I see like any any of sultry like body parts like was she like blown apart oh. you go over and I'm gonna stay along the wall I will I will stick to the ceiling yeah, yeah, before I'll, I'll I touch stay, the floor, here, floor again. And then you just stay on the... The, act, the other skeleton is also gone. <laughs> and as you look around and you go over, you uh, go ahead and roll a survival check. Oh. Shit, fuck. Uh, she didn't even see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that's, that? That's not a joke. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just real. That's just real. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even warn, I couldn't. Billy starts Seven. chewing on you. Oh, wait, Seven. you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of here. You got him. Go. The ground is covered with ash. <laughs> can't tell if it's people ash or... Okay, what can I tell if it's people ash? Has this table ash? moved? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Can I... Can Actually, I one portion up? of that table has been, like, sliced. And it's now just down on that's the side. Different. That's that different. different. That's different. That's different. That's like a... T that's like a warp. Can I... Mm, using then I'm describing it incorrectly. It looks like an explosion. So it was like fucking torn asunder. As you begin to look around, oh sorry, what did you want to do? Uh, can I just use Billy to get up there too? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> As you look In around, Kazira, and uh -huh. you, you sort of scrape the ground and you pull it up and you and you and you and you look. Its realization sort of comes across you. Yeah. Sildry's been reduced to ashes. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sildry. Yes. I am dead. <laughs> I take it. The world is a strange, ghostly place. You see Kazira leaning down and looking at his fingers as you're floating behind him. And you look down, you can see again. You see your hands, you see your body, you see Kazira, but it's sort of like, imagine... In Lord of the Rings, when uh, when Frodo puts the ring on, and there's sort of like that that the wispy sort of air, sort of everywhere, everything's yeah. sort of transparent, and you're okay. just floating through the room. You don't know what just happened, but you see, and then you hear their voices, sort of like echoing, kind of like almost like you're underwater. Um. No. I'll look no, around. No, you guys, you guys, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Can I? cast locate object to try to find Sildry's whip 
Yes. You cast your locate object. Yeah. It was magic, it's... if that matters. Oh, it was? Yeah, my whip is a plus <laughs> one. It's one right on the ground. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had a plus one whip. That was the only thing it's I just, took. It's, got, it's buried oh, in the ashes. Oh, that, that, was, that was the only thing I took up with me, too, was the whip mm-hmm. and the and my armor. My armor was not magic. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that actually helps us at all. Yeah, this is... I don't know if I, I, don't know if I could have done anything. No, no. lucky you weren't in the room. As we go back over to Sildry, who's just sort of watching as all of you are just stunned in this room, you're sort of looking around, floating, and you hear an echoing voice. It just says, Who are you? How did you get here? And floating through one of the walls is a skeletal head with burning, flaming eyes as it stares over at you. At this point, I'd like you to describe what Sildry's ethereal ghost-like form would manifest as. Oh, jeez. It can be however you like. Um, <laughs> I imagine uh, fa- the, the face would be very similar to Sildry's, and uh, the garb would be similar to what she's wearing, but uh, I guess in Ethereal it would be gray, but you can tell like it's different shades, almost as if it should be like this very like like uh, hyper-colorful, almost like performance like mm. garb. And mm-hmm. it, it appears as her, um, mm-hmm. down to like probably wisping at about knee level mm-hmm. and and same on the on the arms it kind of goes out and then right about at mid uh mid forearm it just kind of wisps out cool. um and then uh and then she just like has long hair uh kind of down wisping around uh that's cool yeah and he asks uh, you, who the hells are you well i'm sildry uh we were sent to find a macritus and all we found was a skeleton and now i'm here i'm macritus Oh, that's a problem. My machine. It didn't work. It did the same thing to you that it did to me. And what is that? It backfired. What does that mean? We're dead. Shit. I think All we're right. uh, <sighs> somewhere in the ethereal plane. Can I kill you again? Is that an option? Like, what happens if... Um, no, I think we're kind of stuck here. I'm sorry? Yeah, I don't really know what's been going on up in here for a few weeks. I'm going to try to leave the cabin, Jacob. You go over towards the border of the cabin, and you just boom, you just hit it. You can't seem to move beyond it. And he says, yeah, no, no, I tried. You and I were stuck here, mm-hmm. but at least I got some help. Are those your friends? Yeah. We can't really do much, but we have to help them. They can't touch that damn thing. All right, then we'll all be stuck. This is my one chance to save everything, and I've got you. We can affect certain things here, uh, like make a little thing wobble. We can't talk to them directly, but they're, I don't know, creepy ghost shit that we I have can an do idea, in Jacob. order to speak to them. Immediately I'm going to have an idea. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go down, and with the, the wisp, it's just going to kind of like, kind of like reach out and become almost like a, like a, like a, just like a point. Cool. And it will form into a point for a second. And I'm going to go down into my own ashes. And uh, and spell out my name, and then say we can see you. Okay. Can I do that? Will it move the ashes? Like, will they? It, you go down, and it sort of like it twists them a little bit. So you sort of like move them, but Kazira doesn't seem to notice. Okay. I will let you write ten word, ten letters. Ten letters. You can't be that precise with it. There's about as much as you can affect with it with your finger. You can do ten letters though. that you don't touch whatever the fuck she touched. Can I hear that yes, too? Yes, you can hear them. Okay. I didn't see anything really that she did other than touch that. she touched it and then exploded. Then I will write ghost stuck. You hear and you see in the ash underneath you a G and then an H. And then guys? It, oh. What? And it's like slowly sort of... So I assume I'm where she was. You're right there. You're in, in, in the floorboard as if a finger was sort of like slowly pushing it around. You see the word ghost. And what was the second? Stuck. And then stuck. 
What's going on? Um. You just stopped talking. Well, she's talking. I, I think it's her. And then as you like pull your hands away, uh, Sildry, mm-hmm. you watch as like you turn, and then all of the ash like <laughs> spills over, and you're like, uh, you don't know what you did, but you watch as the words just <laughs> dissipate, and they're flooded over the ash once again. There was the words ghost and stuck written right here. It's gone now, though. Okay. Are you sure that it's her? Not the ghost that was literally... I in, could, in, I in, could, or... I could try to talk to them. Whoever it is. You want to see if it can possess one of us? No, I can go to where they are. Oh. That's right. Can you safely get over here? Yes, you can. I'm going to do so. I can't do it for very long, so if we have any questions, we should figure out where they are now. Where is the orb at? Uh, Right next to Kazira's foot. Can I, like... Can I... Don't I will you? say thank you, Ice Windell, for doing enough damage to instantly kill can, a character, but I not like letting Gandalf me. Not, not, not just making it over. It. Hang on. <laughs> you know what? I just don't like Gandalf. I just want to like the throw like some shit over it. It's like a <laughs> yeah, you do so. <laughs> okay. Can <laughs> the blend here? Are these are not these doors? Are yeah, those are doors. Might be looking. Um, they're not all accounted for. I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking in these other rooms to see if there's any information. Yeah. <sighs> there's that, I, there's I that journal, and the is the journal gone? The journal? You said there was like a charred journal? Uh, no, it, it would be on the other side of the table. Okay. Yeah, it I'll, is not gone. I'll fetch it for you. Okay. You take the journal, and as you look at it... Uh, I probably should have looked at that first, huh? <laughs> Oops. You take it and fold it open, and nothing remains of this tome except ashes and a oh. badly burned spine. Never mind. But on the spine, you do determine five letters. It says E-T-H-E-R. E-T-H-E-R Ethereal Okay Why why don't we do that real fast Oh Also in the ashes Is the pendant that he had around his neck Untouched Um, It is a golden pendant with a with a uh, with like a, a medallion in the center and the medallion is actually a symbol of like two hands Kind of going upwards. Does this look familiar yeah. though? The symbol? One second. Okay. Um it, it, it's it's reminiscent of that of something like Lathander, but it's not his exact holy symbol. Okay. Does it look like the uh, was it Aminator or whatever? The the other No no. no, no, no Go ahead no. and roll okay. a um, Arcana check. Or or religion. Can I ask our friend a question? In a second. Sorry. Four. Fifteen. Uh, you can tell that this is um, this is an amulet. It's magical. You can attune to it, and it makes your bodily strength very, very good. Um, it's an amulet of health. Oh. While you wear it, your constitution score becomes nineteen. That's very hype. That is very hype. Damn, As that's happening. That <laughs> As you could sort of stand him. up and the, the words <laughs> stay, Macritus, this sc- who is formed as the skull, um, sort of looks at you and says, See, there's not much we can affect here, but there's a way that we can save ourselves. And how is that? Well, um, I think... And by save, do you mean go to the next life, or do you mean become myself again? I have no idea. Great. You want to stay here? No. <laughs> I also don't want to die either. I don't either. I think we're a little late for that. So what was that supposed to do anyways? Besides blow us up? It's supposed to control the weather. And the, and the everlasting rhyme. Hmm. I think there's a, a malfunction. And I know what's wrong with it. Can we tell them? Yes. How? I think if we fix it. Okay. It may allow ourselves to rest. Okay. How do we tell them? I don't know. Is there a room they need to go to? Can we knock on a door? Can we... Maybe. We should go around and try to find ways that we can communicate yeah. with them. Where do they need to go next? Well, there's, um... There's not much I can do here. We just need to tell them 
to try to fix that thing. Well, it looks like Lazarus just put a sheet over it, so <laughs> I think they don't intend Shit. on touching it. Right. Oh, they f my amulet. They found the amulet. Oh yeah, I found that too, before I blew up. Yeah. I thought it might protect me. It didn't. Obviously. No shit. <laughs> Go back to you guys. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking at the ropes. Yeah. Uh, Lord's gonna lay the land I'm gonna first. hand this to you. What's it gonna do? It's a, it's an amulet of health. We probably don't have time to attune to it, but... Put it on for now. Yeah. Um, you get this right door, I'll get the left one. I, I can I can go into the ethereal plane. Oh, I, I assumed you would. To try to talk you, to them. You might want to wait till we get more information. Maybe we could ask further questions if we have just a better lay of the land. But if we blow up, <laughs> you know you need, you need to get out of here. Right. <laughs> that's, right. that's more important. So you want me to stay here? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, stay here. Yeah. yeah, stay there in case... In case Sildry tries to say anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one step away from the okay. device. The, big, the, the, the blow up device. Okay. So, um, immolation, that room mm -hmm. that you go over towards. A stiff wind blows through this broken window in the east wall, causing the tattered gray curtains to billow and flap like angry ghosts. Snow covers a bed and much of the surrounding floor. Lazarus. Wooden planks have been nailed over the broken window of this room to hold out the wind. Furnishings include a saggy double bed and a bookcase containing some folded clothes, a few blank sheets of parchment, and a set of calligrapher supplies. Next to the bookcase is a soot-stained hearth, wherein a scroll lies amid the ashes. A scroll? Yes. Okay, I will grab the scroll and all the paper. Okay, you grab the scroll and all the paper. You know, maybe, maybe the maybe I'll grab all the calligraphy. I'll just grab all the stuff because this might be something I could use to communicate. Yeah. 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 Oh. Are we perhaps getting something from Beetle and Grins? Oh, I hope so. Me too. Me too. Me too. Colton fucking died again. I know. Ashed. You would have died too if you would have hopped out. I, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> you would have been gone. Because oh. it, it it destroyed him too. Wow. Here is that scroll. <gasps> Ooh, that's hard to read. Under the bed? Yeah. It is empty. Okay. Uh, so she's she's probably gonna just gonna tear everything off okay. of the bed and like empty any drawers or anything like that. She just there is yep. nothing in this room. That's, you, that's fair. You tear everything. You go over and every floorboard, every part of this room, and you find nothing. Perfect. Uh, then at some point uh, she will go, to go the down doors? to the other doors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that first room right there. Yeah. Um, is. That, uh, the big room, uh, this room contains a fireplace and two empty bookcases. Tacked to the walls and strewn across the floor are frost-covered blueprints. Mm -hmm. Face down on the floor next to the blueprints is a tiny man made of clay. A tiny man made of clay. Um, I guess I'm going to say, Lazarus, because there, there are blueprints in here. Um, and you you bring them, I'll look over them. So okay. Um, yeah. I have a letter to A letter? I will scoop up. That's really Perfect, thank you. Do you... Oh, come on. There you go. There we go. Does the uh, clay man appear to be like a toy, or do I think it's like maybe magical? It looks like, like halfling sized uh -huh. um, clay man with actually like a little bit of details carved, uh, carved into his face. Um, can you go ahead and roll a yeah. arcana check? Six. You, it is a clay man. It's a clay man. Mm -hmm. um, I'm are you proficient like, in Arcana? Nope. Absolutely not. The blueprints are just Oof. nothing to you. You nope. have no idea what uh, they mean. She has no idea. She's gonna. She's gonna look at. It, she's gonna like 
poke the clay man? Your fingers sort of like make like two little <laughs> holes in He's it. like... He's <laughs> 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 so like... She'll just it. scoop that up too because it doesn't seem to be harmful. All right. And she'll bring just it grab it like... <laughs> and I will uh, put on... I guess I will write the table. Okay. Put you put them on the table. And then that last room... Uh, this scent of wine fills this room, wow. which contains four frost-covered barrels. Well, that's good. What? Maybe I can draw on the frost. Oh. Let's see. It's yeah. No, 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 no. That makes a lot of sense. I will bring one of the casks. Yeah, grab one. Okay. All right. What do you want to know first? We got a lot of information. What's the letter? Yeah. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, uh, before thing. we get to that, I'm going to go back to them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As they're sort of searching around the room, Sildry. Okay. But Kratos looks at you and he says, if we can find a way to communicate them and at least tell them, like, uh, that they should try to fix the thing. Um, I'm positive, absolutely certain, that the Summer Star won't explode again. It's only okay. got two rings on it. The entirety of the magic was enough to kill you and me. It doesn't have anything else on it. Mm. If it does, well, then, uh, I don't know. It shouldn't, though. we got to find a way to tell them that it's safe to handle. They're going to have to handle it. Jacob, is there a way? Because I, I I have minor influence. Yeah. Um, obviously there's a blanket over the fucking thing. There though. is, yeah. I I imagine my influence is not ranged so far as to remove the blanket. Do you want to try? Yeah. Roll a charisma check. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> it's like my shtick. <laughs> can I persuade it? <laughs> can I persuade it? No, you can use a charisma check. Okay. Uh, how's a sixteen do you? Okay. Um. Kazira, as they're searching the rooms, you hear, and you look over, and the the small object, the uh, the blanket has just like fallen off of it. Can I can I try to roll it to Kazira? Roll another charisma check. That's not as cool. Christ, we found all the shit. Natural what? twenty. Uh, you watch as it. What the fuck? And it, it hits your boot. Uh, no. Do not no, touch that. No, no. I no. didn't do it. <laughs> The ghosts definitely are trying to kill us now. Uh, <laughs> and then the okay. ethereal plane, they're like, ah! and then it goes back to you. <laughs> All right. I take another small step away from it. You, they're, you do. They're, they're, too, uh, they're too suspicious for their own good. <laughs> it, might be, it might be worth, after we do this, we go into the ethereal plane. Now. Yeah. Because if they're trying to kill, kill us, us, we should just leave. Okay. Oh, um, letter? It's copper. <laughs> huh? It's copper to Macritus. Oh. Apparently he was here helping them build something called the Summer Star. They got in a fight at dinner, oh. and Copper decided it wasn't worth the time. Apparently, Macritus has become obsessed with this object. Right. Yeah. Um, he did leave some kind of, to be honest, seems more like a taunt to me, some kind of resolution for this problem, this mm -hmm. machine he's having. It's, it's cryptic at best. It says, I suggest that three is better than two, whatever that means. Really if anything, if we get out of here, I'm going to feed copper to Blazers. Ah. This seems like something he should have told us. I mean, to be fair, I think he did tell us that he was working on a device. We came here to fix my he, eyes. An explosive device. Explosive. I think he told us, I think he did tell us a lot of it and we just didn't listen. I think he told us that he was trying to fi I think. I think he did. You know that I'm particularly vulnerable and angry after I've lost a friend. Right. Look, we... Uh, we have a good amount of time to get back. If I'm still in that way, he dies. And his tiny little fuzzy bear suit. I just don't think Sildry's actually yeah. dead. I don't... I don't think she is. She can't be dead. Well... Just not okay. Copper's life depends on it. That's... That's... That's people. On the floor. Gross. <laughs> Sildry ghost. <laughs> in the, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> where, are you, where are you putting that? Can I write that in the ash again? Roll As I'm pointing check. at it, like... Sure, I'll keep doing it. And then, uh, I, <laughs> there, there's two points behind this, and I'm hoping you guys catch on. Part of it is the meme, part of it is the tin. Shh, can't talk to them. Um, <laughs> you, you watch as... Uh, okay. uh, uh, you all look down into the ash once again, and you just see... S... I... Uh -huh. L... Yeah. D... R uh -huh. I. It was painful. I think she could have probably abbreviated some things. Yeah. And okay. then as a new letter begins they to form, it <laughs> and it scatters. Fuck. They, don't, they don't have a lot of control over. I can. I, okay. Did, yeah. what, you, you found blueprints. I found blueprints. Can I, I, I should look at these. I don't understand them at all. Also, this clay man. 
Oh, let me see him. Yeah, you you were. He's about bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like this. Oh, oh. no, I don't want him. I don't want him. He's horrifying. Uh, he's too big I'll, now. I'll do the, the dad real. thing. Well, and you, uh, okay. Yeah. Are you proficient in Arcana? I am. Hey, okay, you can read the blueprints. Also, uh, either one of you roll an Arcana check. I have claim expertise in Arcana. Oh, okay. oh fuck! I don't know fancy. enough about Arcana. What'd you say? I had a nineteen though. Jake, what did he say? I can. What did he say? Are you do it again, Craig. Did you go click? Yeah. From now on, yeah. because of the the, um, I wanted to establish uh, to the audience. Oh. You guys don't know. Um, from now on, you and I will communicate as the two ghosts uh, through chat. Okay, cool. Um, Fine by me. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, viewers. You don't get to know what's happening in Ghostland. Well, you see, you get the perspective of the normal living people. <laughs> you guys uh, remember that. Yeah. You're the only normal one here. Alive! I would like to uh, use my uh, divine sense. Don't sniff. Okay. That so so in your nose. So so in the air. Oh. Okay. What did you guys roll? <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys roll in your uh, Twenty-nine. Nineteen. Both of you know that the little clay man is a dead homunculus. I, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Clearly, that's a. Hang on. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> that is a dead homunculus. Do you need me to smite it? I no. don't fucking know. No, no. He's dead. <laughs> okay, that's that's about all I can do. I smite it or not? Let me yeah. see him. Let me see him. Okay, great. Please take him. No, fuck. Um, <laughs> put him down. Okay. Um, it, do the I need blueprints? Okay. That's what my question. No, I'll, I'll, I'll find some go. glasses I stole. Like, you okay, little homunculus man. <laughs> so they are. Oh shoot. You saying that reminded me of something I was supposed to do in Evenfall, but didn't do. I'm gonna write man? it down. <laughs> no glasses. Oh, oh. You study the blueprints, Kazira, and they conclude so they show different experimental designs for a weather-controlling magic device. Okay. One of these designs resembles a gyroscope and closely resembles the s the object that hit your foot. Right. Which, by the way, um, looks... I have a picture for it. Oh. I'm so sorry I did not show it to you guys. When it, looks, you... it looks like this. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, that's but it's, it's about this big. That's also not what I was no, imagining. Me neither. I thought it was a whole orb. I thought, yeah. I thought it was like a pondering orb, like a crystal ball. No, no, what's, no. what's in the center? Coal? That. Is that... Is it coal? Is, is it, it charlatan? Uh, -huh. uh, do you, uh, let's, let's, you know, let's find out. Let's read the book. Why do you study the, the blueprints? Can yeah. I study the blade? It appears as a six-inch diameter <laughs> gyroscope. It's a six-inch diameter, so it's about this big, actually. So it's pretty yeah. big. Mm -hmm. um, uh, featuring two scorched rings inlaid with runes. And as you look o uh, at... You don't hold it, but you look down at it. It's just very clearly coal. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's coal? It's coal. Kind of oh, yeah. right. Philosopher's stone. Uh, no, we don't get one of those until the end of the game. Oh, damn. I'm gonna start like trying to put Sildre in like a pile. Okay, you start trading oh, on ash pile. pile. Uh, well, if we're gonna need, she's using the dust to divine talk sense. To us. Well, yeah, but we might need all of her. Four undead. <laughs> oh, oh, what the fuck! I hate that. Ah, uh, there are definitely two un other undead beings here. Points to where Macritus was. Points to Sildre. Try interrogate the homunculus. Because I don't think it's I think, he's, I think, I think he's gone. <laughs> he's, he's gone, Lazarus. He's gone. He's dead. He's dead. No. What? Oh, what does that fuck? <laughs> <He's just squished. laughs> um. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's like that TikTok song. Uh, uh, do you want me to just talk to him? Because I can talk to him. I think it's I, very important we get a, a perspective of whether or not they're friend or foe. Right. I can't I can't stay very long. Yeah. It's the thing. I feel like this might be important enough to go. Yeah, no, no, no. It's fine. Cause, cause I if think anything, we could stay here. If they tell us we're friendly, mm. we could stay, and I could talk to them again tomorrow if we need more information. It's okay. Just, it's like a... Kind of like process. you're, uh, you don't want to stay there too long because your soul just gonna, yeah, 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 just yeah. gonna stay there. Does your <laughs> equipment go with you when you go into the theater? Yeah, I could kill him if I wanted. Okay, well, uh, I would more of like cool. you would take the blueprints with you. Like well, then they can see everything that wow. we're doing. So sometimes they have trouble affecting things unless mm. they're like, um, you know how uh, Nas was. She she's kind of vengeful, so she could she could she could 
possess people, yeah. they don't have that. And that's that. They're probably good then. They don't have evil in their heart. Can you affect things in the zero? Can you like circle things on a blueprint in the zero? Um, no, I don't think Damn. I can affect things. Maybe I can. I know I can affect them, for sure. The guy's I can, like, I can. Good. He's coming through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um. I went over. It was just a fucking No, but skull. if uh, if he points something out, I'll remember it. I don't really forget things. No, I mean you, you've got a very keen mind. I do. I think uh, second smartest member of this party for sure. It, of course, after the bear. No, no the homunculus. A uh, third smartest member. Oh, of the party. No. Demoted again. Uh, once again, yes. Uh, all right. I can. I can head in. It's kind of the. Okay. Uh. Are they good? What do we do with the the the? Yes, do we do we regret to touch this thing again? I just maybe ask why they keep throwing that that device at you. Right, 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 right. What what the importance of <laughs> the device? Your oh, <laughs> stop it! Christ, stop! I I'm mean, gonna put it I'm a, I'm like pick up the put in a trash can. <laughs> I'm gonna put it all back. <laughs> all right, um, all right. God see you in a second, and I'm gonna. How long can you stay in the ethereal? Twenty seconds. 20 seconds? Four rounds. 20 second. 24 seconds. 24 seconds. Oh, did you want to do it? Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. You transform, and you guys watch as Kazira just disappears. You appear in that same place, sort of uh, strange. Uh, everything is sort of like spinning and whipping around. Um, everything's really blurry, and before you, you see... What, uh, what do you look like again? It was the uh, the very mm -hmm. like different grays um, with the wisps yep. at the knees and yep. at the forearms, long and, black mm -hmm. hair. And you see uh, a skull with just fiery eyes, <laughs> and they both see you, <laughs> and they go, "Oh shit!" Hey, so that's Macritus. Right. Uh Yeah, the thing blew me up. And Did you die fixed. too? No. no. Uh, uh, so the, we're we're good. The yeah, summer star. Need you need fixed. to fix What's it. You need to fix the summer star. How do I do that? It needs a third ring. You need to identify it, Where's and then the you gotta reactivate ring? it, Where's and then you the can probably ring? save our souls. I think Where's you gotta make ring? it. I, I, you gotta make it. How? The blueprints. Look at the blueprints. You appear back. Wow. What are we gonna tell his family if he dies in there? Oh, that's wonderful. Because all I have is a homunculus to give to your wife. Yeah. And I think he's dead. Uh, to be honest, look, if I have to go back with your dead corpse, I'm not no. going back to your wife. No. I was going to get a good corpse. No. You shouldn't. Yeah, I was going to come back to Silji in a jar and this, and this clay man. No, no, no. We, we don't go back. We have something to bury. I, 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 I would have told him it was him. He just got shrunk and turned to clay. This is what this is what happened to your husband. I'm sorry. Silji was <laughs> Silji's in this vial and your husband's this. <laughs> What was your husband's Play-Doh? Yeah, I don't, I don't think she would accept that. <laughs> he's just, uh, she smells very nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, they kept saying uh, that we need to fix the orb. It's not it, It's not dangerous. Oh. We could touch it. That's why they kept rolling it towards me. Okay. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Both of you, I'm going to pick a little bag of the orbs in. It's not a bag anymore, it's just you free rolling. Bit. Fuck it, I'm gonna put it back in the bag. <laughs> okay, you have it. I'm gonna carry it by the little strings. Oh. I'm gonna go into a different room. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna touch it. Why don't you have your bird touch it? <laughs> we can have Billy touch it. <laughs> you don't wanna... No, 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 no. I'm just gonna touch it. Billy and Blazers have been talking this whole time. But but you two have, have like actual families. Yeah, but we care about you. Yeah. There's a bird you well, made out of snow. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> God. I also have metal hands. That's fair. Oh, you know what? Here, ult. D oh. Wait, what? I'm sorry. What did you I'll, I'll, I'll take off my right arm okay. and my left hand and, and then pick grab it. it. Up. Nothing happened. I'll, no. I'll, I'll kind of like jut it out the door. I think we're good. Right. And then I'll. Okay, ready? Oh, uh, yep. You're holding it. Okay. All right. I, I keep I doing do this, but it's like it's like this big. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if this is a technicality or not, so let's just be careful. Yes. Made well, they, like, they both said we could touch it. And I did touch it. I mean, it hit my boot it, a few times. It's mainly Gamma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I was built for this. Yeah, I was built um, for this. <laughs> okay. You said, what, 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 what? what? So they, wait, 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 we have to figure this out? They, st they said that it needs another ring and that we can make one using the blueprint. What the fuck? 
Okay. Okay. Um, I guarantee I'll have to grab, like, a ring, I will like, not be to... able to make yeah. another ring. Uh, I can look at it. What does the blueprint say? Yeah, Jacob. I look over these blueprints. I do that. All right. <laughs> so, go ahead and make an arcana check. If you're using the blueprints, make it with advantage. I am. That's helpful. Mm-hmm. 27. You uh, identify the item as, as the Summer Star. Mm-hmm. And uh, you... Um, give me one second. Oh. And you now understand what this item oh. does. Uh, with the blue, uh, with the blueprints, mm-hmm. the rings are magical runes, and they are uh, they create the control weather spell, um, and mm. I um that that's that's m- what it, what it is. You now understand what this item is. Mm-hmm. Now roll an in, in insight check, an insight. intelligence insight check, not a wisdom oh. insight check. So Did this thing instead of changing the weather just summon the sun? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is that why we saw the sun for a very brief moment? You died today? Yeah. Uh, nine. <laughs> uh, you don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to fix it. Well, I don't know why it's. I don't know why it's doing it, the explosion thing. Well, it Anybody should. Else can also it make should control the weather. Check. Should. It should control the weather. Okay. It shouldn't backfire and explode. Uh, yeah, I would say that that's a failure. What do you think? Uh, I rolled an eight on my. Sorry, I was wrong. Shit, hang on. <laughs> You're like, oh. Huh. It's a 13. I mean, enough monkeys and Shakespeare and all that, right? What? Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to figure it out. I mean, if, if, we, if we spend the night here, now that we know that they're not bad, yeah. I'm sure we can figure it out. Okay. It's just going to take time. Uh, That's a little spooky sleep in the place that I mean well we know they're not I mean you sleep next to corpses every day no I'm sorry you have advantage because you witnessed the device malfunction oh oh I was in a pit (laughs) it's worse oh Oh. (laughs) Uh, I have advantage because I summoned a steed (gasps) no no no. (laughs) (laughs) I was just thinking about this (laughs) 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 he ponders (laughs) What are wonderful steeds thing? You look outside and you hear, ruin me. I'm I'm gonna get along. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think Billy's always wanted to be. What is this good. metal made of? Uh, steel. I don't. What are the runes in? Magic. Magic. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that either. I'm not that, I'm not that I either. have oh, no... To us, I, none of us were that. No. Okay. I actually could... <laughs> hang on. And the ring's like this big? Yeah. Okay. I could, I could probably find another ring that big. Yeah, there, there, there weren't any here? Oh, we have to the point. Are there you any feel rings your here? blueprints begin to tug on your hand. What do you want? I, I set it down. Okay. Can, can we get like a weird... And I put my hand out and go, put my finger where you want it. The Cretus goes down. Okay. Yeah. Isn't he you. just the head? It was down. You. That's right. Your you finger begins to move. You feel this force start to push across your finger, and it leads over to a three. Three. I know there needs to be three rings. You said that. How do I make the rings? You don't, you don't get anything. Oh, Fuck. Damn. <laughs> okay, so. Well, I mean. Tomorrow, I think you a should door go. Door <laughs> slams oh. behind you. Which one? The one outside? No. The, uh... The door to... Sorry, give me one second here. Ooh, the workshop. Um, I forgot there you know was a workshop. how cool it would be <laughs> if I could put this in my arm and then control the weather with it? Yeah. Well, I mean, like Tesseract. Right? Yeah. But instead of a planar portal, I just can... <laughs> sunlight. You ever see... Uh, it's okay. outside. You hear a door slam outside. I forgot about the workshop. Was the workshop outside? Yeah. Well, oh, there's an outhouse outside. No, the first door we looked in was like an abandoned oh, workshop. Oh, okay. Let, let, let's, let's move over there. Yeah. You guys make your way over towards the workshop. Mm-hmm. What's in here? More squirrels? Uh, no. On the mm-hmm. table of the workshop, you see what looks like smith's tools and tinker's tools. Okay. Along with twisted bits of metal. Uh. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. 
twi- that bits has a lot of metal. Of strength. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I have strength. I, I can. I can. Revelation. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's, that's the best I got for you. I don't have. To well, to be honest, I, if we just need, a, I think I, I think a ring in my leg is big enough to to survive as a third ring. If we can't forge one. Well, we got this metal. Can, can, can you, we think, so I think we have a couple chances. Let's do that okay. first. Yeah. And all fails. I'll just be immobilized for a moment. Okay. I also think so. If all this fails, we we can't get any headway on this. We should talk to them tomorrow, and then see if we can take this to our friend Copper. Knobber knocker. Because he might. We've have, got a. No, he, he just might have yeah, more yeah, knowledge. He's about important. It. I mean, he, he had the solution knew, apparently. Right. Right. Apparently, he knew. Yeah. Make sure you ask Macrius why he was so rude to Copper about that meal, apparently. I don't know. Love dispute? It, was a, yeah. it seems that way. I believe everybody. The letter in your hand wisps out of it and begins oh, to, and like flies across the room and then out of the house. Oh. <laughs> Can I watch and see where it lands? Like, is it Can going it? somewhere specific or is uh, he just mad? La- I mean, sure. It yeah, lands outside it. and it's just like into the snow. Oh. I'm out for the bird go get it. The bird brings it back up and uh, brings it back over towards you. All right. The He's got it again. He, he's a little... Damn it. No, you, you, you can read it more if you want. Oh, yeah. I'll get back to um, that. Here, I'll, we'll go... Yeah. There you go. Right. <laughs> wow. So, You're good. What's, uh, yeah. what's our plan? Me, me trying to bend a ring and... <laughs> I don't... I mean, I could... What kind I of role would that be? I maybe do it. Yeah, what kind of role is that, hmm? Jacob, to, to tinker with all this shit? To make it's a proficiency a in Tinker's Tools or Smith's Tools. If you don't have proficiency, then you just don't add your proficiency bonus. Tinker's Tools would be intelligence. Smith's Tools, I think, would also be intelligence. I have Smith's well, Tools intelligence and not strength? Oh. That's you. Let's see what you can do. Heck yeah, yeah, I can figure it out. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, here's, here's, here it is. Um... You eat, you guys kind of look over the tools and look over the, the Summer Star. Mm-hmm. You know that you could create a third ring on the Summer Star if you'd like to. Mm-hmm. It, however, requires the inscription, which qu- requires an Arcana check. If you use Tinker's tools, you can get advantage on the check. You okay. can just use the Smith's tools without a check to create that third oh, ring. Oh, no. good. Why don't you make the ring? The okay. modification process in this manner takes a few hours. That's fine. And I, I will figure out the uh, the runes. Yeah, I and I will uh, just hang out over here, holding the thing, talking you, to some monkeys. You want to hold light for me here? Hold the light for me. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I used to have to fix things like this at my house at the time. I built some wheels back in my day. Some wheels. Yeah, mainly with my hands. We are really going up in high far away. Yeah. Villains are going to start paying us more if we figure out this thing that can fix the weather. I don't think. I got to start paying us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To be honest, it's mine. Well, it's, I don't know if it's mine. Yeah, I mean, you it's can have it. I don't I feel uh, like that's, like that's going to put uh, I don't think we, I don't think she needs a pretty it. large target on our back if we can control the weather. Yeah. I know some... Did we also what did you call her? Bird butt? Yeah. Like feathered, yeah. feathered. Feathered ass. Yeah. There's also like a throne that used to be able to cast a storm, right? Yeah. Oh, but it couldn't do it. So never mind. I take it all back. Okay. Thank you. I'm distracted. Over the few next few hours, you guys are able to melt down those pieces of metal with the smith's tools. And each of you kind of working together, you have like the tongs and the thing, you pour it into like a mold, and as it like hits the mold, which you're doing, because you've, right. you've got the strongest member of the party. Now, of um, course. And uh, uh, you guys are able to create uh, this this thing. However, it is now time to inscribe the uh, the runes mm-hmm. onto the side of it. The runes. Who's going the to runes. make the dexterity arcana check. Dexterity arcana? Definitely not me. <laughs> Rose. Dexterity I think Arcana. It is you. Why is that me? What's your Arcana? Well, well with what, Dex, it's Dex though. I have a negative one. But you're proficient in Arcana, right? I am. I have expertise in Arcana. Oh. So, so what's uh, uh, what's your proficiency bonus? Three. Three. So it'd be a so plus, you have a plus five. five. That's better than mine. Yeah. Mine would just be a plus three if it's Dex. That's all from Dex. Okay. 
Hmm. We have advantage at least. I and a coin. I, I don't have advantage. I have advantage to recall information about. No, you have advantage, advantage if you use the tinker's tools. Oh, I yeah. thought it was only if I was proficient. Nope. Oh. Yeah, you do that and, and the coin. I do have my coin back. All right. Not that one. That one's really important today. Come on. I think 16 is enough. Oh, fuck. Uh, you have to take the next result, huh? If, yeah. if you flip the coin, you would have think, to take I it. I think 16. I, I mean, a 16 is strictly average. It's better than average. What you roll the dice? 11. Uh, yeah. 11. Oh. It seems risky. Do, right. It is above average. Well, okay, so if it doesn't work, though, right? We, we can try one. again. We can try again. We can make another ring. We can do it again. Okay. I see if 16 is good enough. You successfully inscribe the ring. <sighs> the ring is now inscribed with the same runes that are on all of the other portions of it. You mm -hmm. just carefully copy each part of it. Your hand is not very steady, but using the tools and using what you know from Arcana, you are able to replicate the runes onto it and attach it to the Summer Star. There are now three rings on there. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, now what? The whole thing, as soon as you attach this on there, sort of like, you, oh, you watch no. it close, and you're like, uh, uh, but then it stops. And all of the gyros sort of like, and they spin, and they ting, 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 they go into, th they like, they uh, they align. Oh. Okay. Now it's like a, a little wheel. All right. Um, I just realized that this is, this, it does control the weather. That doesn't bring back Zildry. I don't know how that helped. They said that it could free them, but I don't know that that means that once we figure it out, that their souls move on, or if okay. Macritus has some sort of well, we're done plan. In here. Let's go back in the other room. Yeah. Okay, let's go back in the other room. We could sleep on it, not get asked tomorrow. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, I'd rather have a little comfort. Okay, then let's, why, why don't you guys take, take the beds? I'll kind of stay out here for watch, and I'll, I'm going to go deal with the dog and everything. How long does your summon steed last? Eight hours? Let's find out. Does it go away? I thought it only how goes how away if they die. It, 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 that's, it might die. actually be. So. Oh my god, we have Billy forever? Oh no, I guess I we are nearing so. the end of a day, huh? Me too. Because so. we walked, we walked, we blew up. It is a walk. I blew and it up. took hours. And too. then it took you guys how many hours? I said a few. A few? My, my, yeah. my birds for sure. So when like, the uh, two, two, two. steed drops to zero hit points, it disappears, leaving behind no physical form. You can also dismiss your steed at any time as an action, causing it to Does disappear. it say until dispelled, the duration? I'm pretty sure it's just as... I'm pretty sure it looks like Fine Familiar. duration instantaneous. Oh, yeah. he's forever. It's like Fine Familiar. <laughs> if, if you can dismiss that's it good. and bring it back as an oh, action. Remember when I had the, the bone horse in Sunder? That's perfect. That's oh my god, yeah. that's amazing. And then if, if Billy ever dies, oh. you can just resummon him. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I guess I'll go Can't feed Billy. Hmm? Can't they also talk? Yeah. Oh yeah. Billy can talk. I hope well, he just talks talk. as a goat, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just deciding not to. Uh, <laughs> if he wanted to, he could. He's shy. I go give uh, Billy scritches. Ah. And he just looks down and he's me. Hello. What a good oh. Go. oh, hello, Billy. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, Billy needs to. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Elation. <laughs> Shit. I'm too scared to speak to you. <laughs> Sorry, what? You know, I've followed you for a long time. I I I've knew seen it. you grow up. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. Yes. I am very happy that you decided to join me on this quest. Of course. Quest. I'm very happy that you would have me here. I will follow you to the end. To the That's end. right. Goes, Billy, you. I will not ask you to follow me to the end, but if you are willing to come with me on this quest. I almost so forgot long you as get to pick the sun shines on this place once again, I will follow you to the end of it. That is that is the goal. Probably. Billy, that is. Well, the goal. Just looks at me like, by the way, I almost <laughs> forgot. I almost forgot. You, you get to you get to pick the language, so you could be speaking giant if you want. No. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Billy! All right. So what do you what do you guys do? Speak abyssal. I think we're going to sleep. Me. Yeah, I'm gonna feed the animals and then come back up here and feed the animals. Watch. Come back up. It's getting pretty dark at Unless this point. Unless we get any more cryptic notes in the ash, I think it's best if we sleep and ask some questions tomorrow. Hang on, getting that nighttime lighting. Plus, all of you almost died. I did fall off. We did fall off. Better if we we could not have anyone die today. Yeah. Um. 
Cameras are, yeah, they're having a weird well, so time. It's weird that we're in, like, the most darkness. Yeah, yeah they're, weird. They're, Last they're night it was the funky. opposite. It's okay. Um, you guys, as you come upstairs and you start to make yourself comfortable in some of the beds, try to get down to sleep. Um, who, uh, Immolation, you're, like, you're, like, lying down? Yeah. And you feel, like, a tug? Uh-huh. And you feel, like, a tug again? Yeah. Do you want me to move? Tug twice for yes. Feel like two tugs? I get up. Yeah. Uh, That's his bed. I will, uh, I will go and sleep outside with Billo, Billy. You go out to the door? Yeah. The door <laughs> slams on you. Okay, I need more information from you. You see the summer star in the center of the room sort of like roll. Like towards me? Yeah. Hey, do you want me to use it now? I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it back toward the wall. And I'm going to say, do you want me to use it again? It rolls back to you. <sighs> We're going to do it in the morning. Can't you wait? And she's going to roll it back to the wall. <laughs> you roll it back to the wall. <laughs> It rolls back to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab it and go, okay, guys. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, uh, look, the the ghost won't leave me alone. Where are they going to go? Seldry. They're dead. Seldry, go to bed. <laughs> Shit. Bed? She, she, they keep telling me that we should use it now. Well, All right, well, hang on, hang on. The last time we used it, someone exploded. I know. So, come on. Hand it over. Yeah. You have Billy to live for now. <laughs> Lazarus, Lazarus would never understand. To be honest, well, he would because he's, he's actually half of me. He actually understands probably better than most of us are going on right now. I, I'm not going anywhere. We, you can, you can operate it, but I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> Just don't be in the blast. Both though. of us are going to blow up. Well, that's your option. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the other room at least, okay. and I'll leave the door open. <laughs> okay, I'm going to walk into the other room, and then I'll. What the fuck do I do now? Turn it on. What the? How do I? You just like <laughs> you do that, what? and then you watch the go web go. It begins to spin yeah. and spin, and, you, and it's like <laughs> as you as you um, as you oh. uh, hold on to it, and it glows and glows, and then it sort of like s- stops, and it's just like and you've attuned to this item. We're done At this it, point, Lazarus, you the sun have this hand. immediate this power of the sun in the palm of my hand. <laughs> you have this immediate. Vision, this understanding, like you can flex a new sort of muscle. The sky, everything above you, the clouds, even the stars surrounding this area, the nearby ten towns and everything, it all becomes yours. As if you could mold it like clay. Okay. What do you do? Uh, what's weather? Uh, what was weather before? Was it just like a light snow? Here, give me. Uh, uh, yeah, it, well, it's it's a it, it's a lot of thick cloud cover, very very cold. Um, give me one second. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. You can. That's right. Yeah, that's what you can do. So uh, you are being you are able to cast a control weather spell. I should read that first. Its duration is eight hours, and its concentration. Whoa. You can change the weather conditions. You can define a current weather condition on the following tables and change it by one stage up or down. When changing the wind, you change its direction. The condition currently in the ten towns is Arctic cold, which is six. You can change it to cold if you'd like. You can also change the wind from moderate wind to calm. And if you'd like to change the overcast uh, or snow to overcast or even light clouds, you can. Okay, I will do light clouds. Wait, okay. do I get to, to choose one of those three? Uh, no, you can you can change each of them by one. Oh, I will take them all one up. Okay. You do so. Okay. And then you slowly feel yourself sort of like concentrate on this item. And like you feel it like hum and connect to you. And you have to sort of concentrate on this thing, yeah, which yeah. you do. Okay. And as you look outside, you see some of the clouds begin to um, sort of like shift and move. See okay. some of the stars become vi- uh, visible. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go outside. As you go outside, over the next 20 minutes, you watch as the sky sort of appears and a sunset in the distance. Oh. The temperature raises by a few degrees. It's still freezing, but it's just cold now. Mm. Maybe about 10, 20 degrees. 
There's a glistening on some of the snow around you. It's like you've fixed it. Uh, As you do this... Hang on. If I, if I go out there and I can see a sunset, like, the, the first glance, I'm going to close my eyes and turn around. Okay. And, like, face away from it. Okay. Okay. What's it look like? It looks like you fixed it. I didn't think we'd ever see it again. Okay. Sildry. Macritus, as the skeletal version of himself, sort of transforms into his human form. His body takes the rest of it, and he watches. And his hand sort of, like, touches the ray of sunlight. And he smiles. And you watch as he fades away. You also watch as everything begins to grow dark. And within that ray of sunlight, from beyond, out, because uh, you're looking towards the west, towards the gorge. Yeah. It's blinding. And through that blinding light, you see a couple of footsteps begin to make their way from the gorge. Okay. And then fall onto the ground. As your eyes adjust and as the glare begins to go underneath some of the trees, you see Sildry. Okay. And I'm facing away from the sunset? No. The sunset is that way and you're facing towards it and it was like so bright and then out of that brightness she appeared. She's okay. on the ground. Because I want to intentionally face away from her. Sure. I, Immolation I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you look at her. She's sort of looking at the ground. Is that her? You can see. Here. Sildry, do me a favor real fast if you're here. Don't turn yet. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You go down and you find oh, her. Oh, that kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is you that you? make your way down. I can, I can go help. And you also. feel her. It's her physical form. You have uh, all of your belongings, once again, except for your wood. And you're whole again. You look up and you see Lazarus. Uh, like Lazarus. You see Lazarus as well. You see Malaysian. Mm-hmm. And you see them. Stand up. Stand up. Yep. Yeah, it's important. I thought it'd be fun. I know we could do it now, but I wanted your, like, your first sunrise back and mine first entirely to be the same thing. Mm. Okay. When it turn. You ready? Okay. Sure. Then I'll turn. You both turn and gaze up <laughs> into it. It's immediately <laughs> blinding. But at the same time, you see that warm orange and yellow glow. It's beautiful. The sky hmm. is a deep sort of purple and orange. We didn't do anything Ooh. else. We did this. It was going to piss her off. Absolutely. I mean, that's kind of what we wanted. Speaking of that, I'm surprised I'm here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we definitely got someone looking out for us. Someone. Each of you have been blessed by the Morning Lord for laying Macritus a spirit to rest. Oh. And you each, uh, w- while you have the blessing of the Morning Lord, which is a permanent gift, you gain ten temporary hit points each day at dawn. Whoa. Sheesh. And you hear a voice from behind you coming out from the forest that says, Oh, it sure is beautiful, isn't it? You turn. Is it Billy? No. No, it's not Billy. Billy turns. <laughs> you see what looks like a upright polar bear standing with like a with a with a fishing rod kind of on her back, um, and uh, uh, looking towards all of you. Um, she looks like this. Is it is Oh Yamanar talk, guys? <laughs> she says, oh, "It's been a while since we've seen the sun." First time in, since I've been here, at least. I think your friend might be right, though. The Frost Maiden will not be happy. No, I think. We're gonna have words with her, unfortunately. Yeah. I think some of her friends are on the way here. I've come to help you. I appreciate it. Uh, my name's Immolation. She walks over her enormous form. You're almost the same yeah, height. Yeah. And she takes her giant uh, bear hand and sort of grabs yours. Yeah. And she says, oh, it's good to meet you. What's your name? I'm Oyama Nartok. And I come to you at the turn of the tide. <laughs> <laughs> yes! She goes, I've heard stories about you. Have you? Yeah. I think, uh, how, how many people like I've that? I've heard stories of you defeating that dragon. No small feat, that one. No. Code light walkers. Yeah. Quite a few of them. They know. Their oral servants, they're on their way here. 
We have to fight them. Right. Prepare yourselves. I uh, I fell down that gorge a few hours ago, and I'm still pretty hurt. Yeah, that, that, that's a I good see. point. Well, I can keep watch. If they're on their way here, they're gonna be here soon. Mm. We could probably at least take a short rest. I have some stuff. Yeah, Jacob, would we have taken a short rest? Yes. Okay, okay perfect. Then maybe yeah, I'll be Speaking okay. Speaking of, do you have my whip? Oh, absolutely. Huh. Was, um, sure. Where, all, all of my stuff. Where have you been all this time? Well, yeah, we time. looked for you on the mountain. We did. Ah, uh, Calvin Scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. I have been traveling, seeking answers. It seems I've found them in the four of you. You're trying to fix this issue, too? Indeed. I will be happy to fight by your side, for sure. Of course. How'd you uh, become a weird bear? We can save this discussion for later. What if we didn't? What if you don't know? What if you tell me right now? No. We must prepare and savor what sunlight is left. Jacob, I assume we get that 10 temp tomorrow morning. Uh, you can have it right now. Perfect. Okay. As you guys sort of gather together and prepare with OEM and our talk to prepare for the onslaught of cold night walkers who are on their way to stop you from bringing back the sun for this moment. We're going to go ahead and go and break. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. Um, yeah. I don't have anything else to say other than I'm going to read some patron Yay. names. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So big shout out to everybody over on Patreon who's supporting us. Love you guys. Uh, to Dub Mill, Mini BM1, Digged In, Barton enjoying a mute credit card joke. Very nice, but can I have your Costco card, Craig? K, okay, thanks. <laughs> Pippin to Hood, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Mosamania, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt, Duncan York, Roran Verlaine, Red Storm, John Hunter. While well, the rhyme starts coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop. <laughs> Josh Travis, it's Drew Mamu's 20,000th and 24th birthday this Sunday, and all he wants besides the Dorjan is a shout out. Landon, Jessica, Colton should start every campaign with at least five backup characters. And Reno, that's especially true today. Come forts into Joni, Notorious Thieves, Amazingly Awesome, Rejected Tub Full of Sea Men. Uh, Thorin Schmidt, you can say it backward if you want. Dallas, please help him in the basement and they've stopped feeding me. Lane, Chin, Shark and Sean riding a giant goat in the distant blizzard. Big Hoss, Alice Lilybottom, Copperhide Wolf, Tom Michael, Lowly God, Patreon of Warlocks Everywhere. Sign your pack today for the low, low that's... price of one eternal soul. I'm all out of funny names. Sub King Firehammer on Twitch. <laughs> okay. 1010 Thanks. used to be called 20, 20, 20 until Tamari broke her in half during the tune-in exams. I love that one so A much. cast of Colton's cremated characters. My players rolled a nat 20 on animal handling and now they're riding a T-Rex into a U-on-T battle. Mike and God of Puns. Zav wondering if there is a... What the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> what is this word? Zav wondering if there is a... Pr- propagandas... Propa, 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 Nagus Hank to counter the Icewind Dale. Mystical combat. Look, what is that word? Mystical combat. I think, I think, I think that's night. supposed to be propane gas. And oh, it's just not it a is propane space. gas. Wondering if there is a propane <laughs> gas Hank to counter the Icewind Dale. Oh, there we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> Uh, Mystical Combat, Teutonic Knight, Mimi H, Ethan Collins, Penguin Culture, Augusta A, King Countess of Lovelace, Angry Bird God, King Firehammer, Lucifer's Javelin, Danny, Against the Cold of Dugan's Hole, and Muriel Stahl. Thanks guys so much. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Hi, welcome back. Hopefully we're not muted. We are not. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the 149, Rissa. Appreciate it. All right. So, y'all have gathered into the Black Cabin with Oyemen Artok. Yeah. What's the battle plan? I'm going to seduce Oyemen Artok. Well, no, roll persuasion. There's a big bed in one of these rooms. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm going to destroy the rest of the luck happening right now. Um, well, seeing that I'm a melee fighter, mm -hmm. it'd probably mm -hmm. be best if I wasn't in here. Yeah. yeah. But I will also let you know, Jacob, that I attuned to the Amulet of Health because it was handed to me, uh -huh, and uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. okay. I now have uh, more more hit points. Yeah. All right. So you have tuned to the Amulet of Health, and I did. you have big big HP. Good. Good. Cool, I could cool, fall cool, down cool. that gorge again. You know me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, I also am a melee fighter, so I also will not be in the cabin for very long. And, um... Okay, sorry. Better okay. go. <clears throat> I'm gonna... Can we just position ourselves push anywhere? Yes. Um, you guys, uh, Oyama Nartok says you have about 30 minutes before they get I'm gonna go there. Okay. I'm gonna switch my boy like this. Okay. Done. Can I, um... There he is. Can I stick to the bottom of the black yes. cabin? Yes. Yes, you can. 20 feet and, up. And, uh, and, yeah, and, uh, try to maybe hide there? Yeah. Like, if I'm not moving, maybe they won't, they won't, won't um, notice you. Won't notice me. I'll stick, I'll stick right under there. Hey, remember, Lazarus, you have attunement to the Summer Star. Which means you can't lose concentration. Yes. Oh. Or the sun will go. Uh, okay. Uh, how far is it up on the roof? Huh? If I'm, the Summer Star? No, if I'm, no, if I'm standing here, yeah. could I climb onto the roof? Yeah. Okay, well, then I'll get onto I the see. roof. We'll see you're 30 feet up. Okay, I'll be up here somewhere. Okay, 30 feet up. Okay. All right. Is that our positions? Uh, I probably shouldn't be up here. I'll be next to Lazarus. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Do you want to be somewhere else? Uh, I can yeah, see I'm sorry. I'll be, I don't I'll be stay on you. your back anymore. I'm underneath the black cabin, <laughs> sticking to the ceiling. Yeah, I don't know how I it happened. I will definitely not be with you. Okay. Then. Pushes his I will head be with you. Lazarus. Okay. That's perfect. You know what? I think maybe I should. Pull out a ration. Because I just realized that's a 20 foot drop. I think we have a hell of a fight. Oh, you in throw front it in the air. Oh, yeah. We're going to teach you yet. <laughs> Where is Big Lady going? We're holding hands. You're holding hands? <laughs> and kissing. <laughs> Mary. Look, I told you. Premarital <laughs> hand holding. You guys want to show off the mini of her? That came in our cool <laughs> Beetle and Grimm's box? Beetle and Grimm's oh, this was from the Beetle and Grimm's box? Wow. That's cool. It, it, Almost I believe it is an official mini, so you can still buy it, but it did come in the Beetle and Grimm's box. Almost all on. of the Icewind Dale minis focus, that we have focus. came with the is it Platinum doing it? Edition. Yes, Hell but yeah. you are off center a little bit. Oh, it's oh. gone. You gotta do the influencer. Yeah. You yeah, put your hand behind it again. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> all right. Yep. Yeah. Time yeah. to get for serious. You, for you people at home. Because she's so... That's too way too fucking close, dude. What oh, there you go. Oh. Look at it. Her. It's beautiful. Who wouldn't want to mm. seduce Oh, yeah, Menard Park? That's the real yeah. question. Can you show off the cold light mini walker I have, too? Sure. Cold light walker mini, sorry. Which one is that? that one. This one? Yeah, the other two are the same thing, but I have different minis. What are them. these uh, method Come on. guys? There's there literally nothing else. Oof. It's pretty cool. Ice ice right. guys? Very nice. Are we, do we have frost roots down here, too? What are these minis? These minis are deaf. These don't feel like official minis. They feel like they're made of different material, which is really interesting. I wonder oh if they took. They, they came in the same like boxes that you get, like the random. Did they really? Like, they yeah. they they're feel still, it feels still. it feels smoother than a traditional mini would be. They're they've been really stepping up their game with the minis lately. They, uh, they are very, the little very goblins that work the Beetle Grimms polish them. Hand yeah. I, I, well, exactly I wonder yeah. if maybe they they repaint them or something. All right. Um, would you mind uh, also, sorry, the camera, just zoom it out a little bit Fuck. so you can see the baddies. Baddies? Uh, and then zoom in. Bad. Be a baddie. There you go. That's yeah. probably more That's accurate fine. to what we're using. Uh, too far. Yeah, it decided to move on its own. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. It has a mind of its fucking own. It sure does. That's fine, though. That's good. All right. So uh, you guys have gathered here, prepared your positions, and you sit up at the top um, just waiting and waiting. And you watch in the distant miles off uh, from the top of the black cabin. You can see that this like imposing blizzard is attempting to pierce inside of this area of sunlight and clarity that oh. you've created, but it can't seem to make its way in. Hmm. Are those? I'm sorry. Are those actually flying creatures? We'll get to that. Um, oh, well, not be you can't see thing. them yet. <laughs> uh, you hear. You all hear a voice on the wind. Just And you just hear a distant voice speak. All of you sort of just like chime in and listen. And hear it say, You will not last long. We will not kneel. Bright light shines from the forest. A cold, hateful light. And seems to be getting closer. And closer. Draw your weapons and prepare. Oh yeah, Menard talk pulls out a fucking axe and watches. 
So breaking the tree line, you see one of those ten... It looks like a ten-pounder at first, just stepping forward. That bright light emanating from its face sort of like peers up and looks. There's three of them. And then from behind them, you eat, you see Ice Mephit <laughs> appear out, mm. sort of like look around and prepare to fight. Those definitely flight. Everybody <laughs> roll initiative. Boy. Jacob, could I have done That's That's my good. Good. rights before they got here? Yes. Oh. That's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, Stitch Dice, you're going back in Baby Joe. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not gay Baby Joe. I pushed auto Joe. roll initiative on all the baddies. Uh-huh. All of them below 10. Good. And because uh, OEM and Artok is on my side, I rolled a 20 for OEM and Artok. Like natural? Wow. Um, She's that cool. All right. Um, Lazarus. 16. Uh, Kazira. 11. Immolation. 12. And Sildry? 19. Well, when I rolled it, everybody else got, like, below 10, you three, but you get a 27. Right. So. Just kidding. Uh, oh, Yemenar talk is first. <laughs> she uh, she looks forward, um, and she says, Can the rest of you handle the the methods? Yeah. Yeah? All right. You, you don't need help? Uh, I mean, no, she looks down at the ground, and she says, The rest of us can take care of the cold light walkers. And she takes... Uh, uh, her her great axe, and she begins to run forward. Oh, I um, see. She means ground people take on the Colette Walkers, and maybe. Uh, she is going to uh, move thirty feet uh, closer towards the melee out. combatants. Thirty feet. Yeah. Thirty. Thirty. Those guys are actually up in the air, so she's going to have to uh, move past them. They're about ten feet up in the air. Okay. Gotcha. So she'll be one space forward. So just kind of move oh, those, those guys that. out of the way. I'm just gonna swap the spots. Yeah, I actually can genuinely deal with that. Cool. Uh, she gets up to one of the cold light walkers and she takes her great axe people. and does two attacks. Um, she gets a twenty-four and a twenty-five to hit, and she does sixteen damage to both of them. Oof. Oh, sorry, eleven. So she does twenty-two damage to one of the cold light walkers. We'll say that that one is C. All right. Uh, Sildry, your turn. Okay, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Can you move me uh, so. okay. just straight ahead? Okay. And Nope, stop me there. Yep. And uh, I will um, go ahead and fighting spirit to give myself... Uh, I will not take the 5 temporary HP because it's less than the 10 temporary that I currently have. That sounds good. But it will give me advantage on the attack. Okay. Since the ice methods are only 10 feet up, I can attack them. There you go. You can whip them right out of the air. Yep. Now that you can see, it's much easier. Oh, yeah. Uh, 21 to hit. You hit one. Okay. That, I mean, right now I only have one attack. Oh, uh, one of those minis down there, by the way, is an ice method. I don't have five ice methods, but the one right behind OEM and Artok, that's what they all look like. One, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I have 13 damage. 13 damage to the, to the one, one of the in methods. front of me. Uh, the one right in front of you, psh, you hit it, and you watch as some of uh, the part of its body like chips and uh, breaks off, but it is still alive. But oh, it is bloody. Right. Um, uh, that's what I got. And okay. I have the shield up to the, the... Oh, yo, the eyeball shield. It actually is useful now. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, um, I love seeing in our in our initiative order uh-huh. here, um, <laughs> fucking uh, Oyama and Artok, and then John John Cena, but he's bald. No, and no, no, uh, it's John Zena. That's right, John Zena. Yeah, it's, That's Zon- right. yeah, it's yeah, John yeah, Zena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of um, all the, the and then <laughs> Lazarus is Gandalf with an AK. Uh, your turn. <laughs> Wait, what? That's your <laughs> image? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get off the roof. <laughs> it's yours. Dino nuggies that say cunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. Guys. Oh my god. I, I'm going to my campaigns right now to look at your guys's. I didn't yeah. see your guys's. I'm gonna today. get down right there. I'm gonna take the dodge action. <gasps> you can do so. Because hey, if I'm holding concentration, I'm not very good at that. No. The dodge action. And then I know we'll have Lazarus uh, go and fucking mm. munch on some people. He moved mm. 40 feet. 15, 20, 35, 30, 35, 40. Beautiful. He'll attack with his. All right, Cold Light Walker sees. Spitz- we'll attack. Spitz- what is this? <laughs> it's a bird it's with the arms. It's the bird with the arms going like, <laughs> I love going it. like that. Yeah. That's a that's a lot. <laughs> it's a twenty something. That's, that's gonna hit. Roll damage. Uh, I'm rolls. just glad that you like John Zena. <laughs> that is nine points of magical slashing damage. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Mine just Slices makes me him. laugh. <laughs> it's pretty good. Turn. Okay. I like that it has the like the 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 eyes that are like the little stars. Because mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. you are on deck. Right, right, right. I should take your yeah, fucking yeah. shield. Can I? For you should have. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up thing. thirty feet. Do you want it? Move up so thirty feet. We could have decided the, that because uh, you about you would have had it. Is. Do you need it? No, I don't fucking care. And then uh, for no, no. Sorry. that cold light walker over here. Uh, yeah. Which um, one? The the one in the middle. Sure. Why yeah. not? Um, I will cast old person. Oh. All right. Uh, with save of fifteen. With save of fifteen. Yeah. Uh, does not have advantage. Ooh, ten. Oh. Paralyzed. Yep. Cool. Held. Cool. 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 If uh, if someone were to hit that person, would they have advantage? Yes. Yeah. Uh, not only that, but you would also uh, they're incapacitated. They fail strength dexterity saving throws. Uh, att- attack rolls against creature have advantage, and if you hit, it's a crit. Ooh. Because it's paralyzed, right? Hi. Well, I will double check. It decided to uh, shit the bed. Ah. Yeah. Here, do you want me to? Oh, I gotta find out what it is. Oh, you got like a yo. That's cool. What? I've always had these. Were they were they always Paralyzed. organized like that though? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I swear to God, the first time <laughs> I saw those, they were just like in a box, like all just together. Oh, it's because yes, Jack used to have them. Huh? Jack used to bring his. Oh. They were all in like a bag. Oh, I've never seen the the yeah. collection one. That's really cool. Yeah. It's that makes that so much easier here. Sorry. Oh, Wait, you're also not gonna have any luck. <laughs> Sorry. It's too far away from Sorry. me, and you have a cat. Cool. So that cold light walker just like freezes in its in its stop. Has a a ray of sunlight sort of like wraps around it, and it just like it's frozen, yeah. cannot move. Stay, stay um, is that your turn? Yep. All right. The ice method that uh uh that you whipped, um, the one that uh-huh. is the actual ice method, the mini, uh, is going to fly. I whipped the one directly in front of me. That's why I make sure you know that. Got it. So it's that okay. one's turn. Um, it is going to look down at you in immolation okay. and it is going to uh, use its frost breath in a 15 foot cone of cold uh, downwards uh, it, so it's going to do it like it's going to look directly down and hit you two and Oyam and Artok okay. pff, all with ice okay. uh, Oyam and Artok is immune to cold damage <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, wow. are, 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 are you immune as well? I'm you're resistant I'm you? resistant maybe she's resistant too Sorry, she's just resistant. Um, uh, plus four to uh, your save, Sildry, and great. also... Oh, yeah, Dexterity Mata. saving throw. Oh. Plus four to her. Plus four? Yep. 24. 24? Oh, shit. That's going to be, uh, like, not good. It's going to be, like, 12 or something. Uh, you still succeed. Uh, uh, Sildry, you take two cold damage. Uh, you both oh. take one. It's ten. Ten? It still saves. Oh. Okay, just one damage. One damage. <laughs> Poor ice methods. Um, they got some health, but yeah, they just blast you a little uh, bit of cold. It doesn't seem to affect you or oh yeah, our talk at all. And come on, uh, it was so colder great. than that like ten minutes ago. Kazira. Um, oh wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dude, I'm done. I'm done being nice. I'm spicy the rest of the way through. I've died twice. My eyesight was taken away. <laughs> Fuck these things. <laughs> I'm gonna move to here. Okay. That's as far as I can get. Okay. I'm gonna dash to get to here. Okay, you dash to get to there. And give flank. Her flank. Cool. Ow. Um. Just a reminder, I don't technically. N- Wait, who'd you give it to? Sorry. Oh. Just a reminder, then, in general, I don't technically need flank myself because of swashbuckler stuff. Right. So, Kay. all I need to do is be able to hit with my with my melee weapon. That um, that cold light walker that uh, that Oyam and Artok hit twice is going to look at her and use um, uh, its bonus action to target her with this bright light, and uh, she just kind of like ah, like turns her head away. She makes a con save. Plus four. Plus four. She succeeds. Um, uh, she sort of like turns and she's like, I'm good. And then uh, it uh, sort of like you hear like this like and like this ungodly um, uh, sort of screeching sound as it uh, takes its arms and just like punches into oh. Yem and Artok twice. Uh, one of them is a twelve. 
uh, which does hit, and the other is a uh, above her AC of ten, which also hits. Her AC is ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's gonna take a lot of damage, but she's going to use her reaction to use Stone's endurance. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. To reduce it by That's ten. That's right. <clears throat> That's cool. Uh, and she's going to take. Wait, 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 wait! I think I might also have a thing for this too. Half the cold damage as well. Use the power of your love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Exactly what it Revoke is. the violent. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Uh, she with her stones endurance and her resistance to frost, she's taking twenty six damage. Um. That's pretty good. I'll let her have it this time. Okay. Yeah. So you just punch into her, and she's like, and she sort of just like hardens up, and she sort of shakes her head, and she says, "You'll have to do better than that." <clears throat> um. Ice Meth at C and B, <laughs> uh, which will say A, B, C, B. Those two, uh, uh, well, here, I'll mark them with my thing. Uh, uh, this one and uh -huh. this one. Mm -hmm. They're flying towards you, Lazarus. Okay, are any of them getting in my uh, radius it, and exiting uh, it? You, one of them will. I'm going to go ahead and take a swing at it. Okay, take a swing at it. Uh, they can fly 30 feet, so they'll fly as close as they can to you. So here I can count it. 23. Okay. Just going uh, to where they move. Right here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I get here. I assume a 23 hits. A uh, 23 hits. Let's see if I can kill this one. I need to roll better than that to kill one. Uh, 5, 9, plus 5, 14. 14 damage. 14 damage. Hurts it pretty badly. It's bloody, but not dead. Uh, it is then going to... Too far away. It's just going to dash to get to you. And they're both going to be playing to me. Cold Light Walker, the one in the middle, is Cold still um, oh, shit. paralyzed. Like yep. So it needs. can it save at the end of its I turn? I believe it does. Let, okay. me, let me double check that for you. It's been forever since I've actually used yeah, that Yeah, you're spell. good. Um, at the end of each of its turn. Name me. Wisdom? 15? 14. <laughs> still there. Still paralyzed. Perfect. Um, the other two methods on each side are going to... Oh, there's three more, actually. Well, one of them breathed. Right, one of them breathed. That one went already. So the two on the right there. Um, These two? Wait, hang on. Oh, A already went. Okay. Oh, well. Um, I'll just have to keep track of which is which. So those two on the right of you, Immolation, uh, those ones are going to uh, come down towards you. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other one will... Is, it'll, it'll flank you. It's smart enough to do that. That's fair. Um, and they will uh, each do a uh, claw attack on you. Okay. Where's Billy at? Uh, he's, uh, do you he want Billy? You could have dismissed him, right? You. Yeah, you can ride Billy. I don't care. Yeah. He can be on the roof with you. He's, he's on, on the roof. roof. Oh, no, he can be on the ground. That's some Witcher 3 shit. Well, I'm almost thinking, like, because <laughs> I'm getting surrounded, maybe we'll get on Billy and just start going yeah, down the mountain. No, that's fine. That's and fine. start going down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Me. Yeah, that's exactly Let's, what it is. Look, uh, goats are also a menace. Mountain that's goats true. in particular, they're, well, they're gonna go wherever they want to go. They sure are. I will print you know, uh, a, a a Billy mini. Really? If we need one. We have yeah. a goat. I know we have a goat. Okay, perfect. But uh, he's not big enough. Yeah. It just needs to be bigger. That's a spider. Oh, I hate it. Not the frog. Not the frog. Um. Here, Billy's a reindeer. Billy. That's his Perfect. actual size too. Bye. Put him where he's at. Yee. Billy the reindeer. Who I hear like, put me. He a goes coach. on your turn. I'm ready right to fight. He goes on my turn. Okay. He goes on your turn. <laughs> Billy the reindeer. Him, Billy, go. <laughs> um, first attack on you, emulation is 15. The second is a 24. Uh, oh my the God. First Sorry. one does not hit. 22. The second one will hit. Okay. You take uh, three slashing plus two cold. So one cold. One cold. So four damage. Okay. So four damage. Uh, all right. Um, and then the uh, last cold light walker, the one that's actually its mini, is going to go over to. Oh, Sildry's right there. So am I. Oh, you are. All right, it's going to go over to Kazir. Cool. And it's going to give you. A big ol'. Oh, no. No, it won't. No, it won't. It's hmm. not going to go for you, Kazir. It's going to go around. It's going to go one space towards the outhouse. Yep. And it is going to do a cold ray on. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, oh, it only picks one person. Oh. Uh, it will. It will go. Oh no! It's gonna be really mean. I'm gonna be real. He's tactical. gonna hit the other cold light. Oh, yeah, yeah, clearly. Yeah, he's actually gonna go here. Mean to his friends. 
Yeah. And he's going to choose Kazira. I do a, a cold ray on him. That's a problem. No, that's all 21. Right. No, the, well, the problem is it being so far away from that'll, us. That'll hit. Um, yeah. Kazira, you take 31 cold damage. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's a lot. The final ice oh. method is going to join oh, his buddies and fly up and dash to get to Lazarus. These two? Yep, that is the end of round one. Uh, no, 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 no. The one all the way by the Cold Bite Walker that just went. Oh, this guy? Yeah. He's going to go up towards Lazarus. Like here? Yes. Uh, top of the round, uh, it is Oyama Nartok. Um, she sees that one off in the distance. She's kind of pissed I got at it. it. You sure? Yeah. All right. Um, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I got I got plans. They might not be good ones. Uh, she is going to uh, take her axe and she's going to stick it into the so snow next to her and she sort of <laughs> just roars, takes her claw and like slices down onto the cold light walker and bites into him. Mm. Claw is a dirty 20. The bite is a 11. Which I think this is... Yeah, she can't bite into him. It's too tough. But she is able to claw and do 14 slashing damage to him. Uh, he's now bloodied. Sildred, it's your turn. All right. Can you uh, please move me uh, to within 10 feet of the um, cold light walker? Yep, right there. Nope, right there. And uh, Jacob, as I go forward, um, I will go ahead and... Uh, <sighs> so uh, so the way that looks, Sildred kind of looks over and goes, Yeah, I, I got it. And then uh, starts moving over. And as she goes through, uh, sh when she gets to the spot before, she kind of like does a little bit, of, a little bit of like a pirouette, like a spin, and then goes forward. And I'm gonna lunging attack to get one attack off from 15 feet. Cool. And then step forward and do a second one with That's action so surge. sick. As you get closer, cool. Do two uh, attacks. And I will fighting spirit again to get advantage on both attacks. Sounds good. Uh, 18. And a crit. <laughs> 18 and a crit. Nice. Does the 18 hit? Uh, 18 hits. Cool. I will put the crit on the sneak attack hit. Yes, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> um, can I borrow a d4 and a d6? If I have them, absolutely. Oh, look, a d4. Uh, and then a d6. Yes. Cool. That's my damage. Uh, 10, 15, 16... 22, 22 plus 10, 32 damage. Ooh, awesome. And he is grappled. You, you grapple him and he just kind of like stops in its place and sort of like ah! screeches And I'm at using you from the, the ensnaring strike okay. with that. Uh, sounds good. Um, it is not bloodied. <laughs> Lazarus. I'm going to use disengage. Oh, okay. And I'm going to kind of step back. No, because I already moved off the roof on my first turn to get there. He's on the Then I dodge. And I'm going to use my disengage. I'm going to See him back up and then fall to the spot that already fell. Grab one of the things and I'm gonna run to Billy and go, "Okay, time to go." Sounds <laughs> good. And, all and iteration, uh, Billy can can move sixty feet. Okay. Okay. Let's leave. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> Actually, you know, run. yeah. Have Billy just go like, because it's he. How tall is he? Can you just go underneath it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. not 20 feet tall. Yeah, just have him go underneath it. So, like, cool, cool, cool. Just so you know, Jacob. <laughs> no, I'll just kind of head underneath uh, it. We'll go and... <laughs> just so you know, they can... That cold light walker can use its action to attempt to escape the like, grapple. Like Alternatively, if yeah, I attack again, it okay. breaks the grapple. Yeah, you can be here. Because uh, how, how, how high are they up? 20 feet. Mm -hmm. That's great. Lovely. Yeah, let's just have them go here. Because I want them to descend 20, move underneath it, and we'll just That's go very cool. this way. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just maneuver. Yeah, yeah. it sounds good. Push him. Oh. As soon as you start moving off the map, I'm like, ah! No, no, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just going to run underneath this building a You're just going to keep going back You know what? Hey, I'm going to run this way. I'll Nicole, have him jump. And I'll... Into that yep. circle. All right. Um, just so you know, Jacob, yep. that cold light oh, walker actually, I'm can use here. its action to attempt an I escape. Go it. Alternatively, if I attack again with the whip, it just breaks the grip because the whip is what's grappling it. Got it. So, Jacob, I'm going to stay underneath it because okay. they have a cone weapon. Sounds good. 
Cool. Um, all right, emulation. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move. So if you get opportunity attacks, it's fine. Uh, yeah, both methods. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Um, ugh, 19 and dirty 20. Yeah, both of those will hit. Oh, real sure. good. Um, that is uh three plus one is four. Eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, and then I will ch hit here, or attempt to hit yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, go for it. You have an advantage. Oh. Eighteen to hit? Eighteen hits? That's a crit. Okay. Um, so, does he count as undead? Yes. Big smite. Big smite! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna cut this Boom. dude in half. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you have a goddamn quarterstaff. I do. They're gonna do a... Big bludgeoning. Yeah. Hold them. Just hold them. Hold them, yeah. Uh, eight, that's Feel 16. like a rug. 16 plus 5 is... 21. 21. Are you 31. Doing? Sorry. 37. 37 plus 5 is... 42 plus... What's my modifier? Plus 4? 46. 46? 46. Bloodied as you go over and just <laughs> whack him across the face with holy radiant energy. Um, uh, just his head like sort of turns down to the side and it just like <laughs> like uh, cricks its head back upwards as it yeah. tries to put itself back together, but it's like permanently sideways now. <laughs> <clears throat> um, head again, I guess. Oh, we'll shit. do this again. That's a that's a 18 plus seven, like 21. Yep, and that's a okay. crit once again. Yep. So I will smite again at the first level. That's 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. Okay. 22 plus uh, 22. Uh, 34. 34. Okay. Uh, 44 plus 4, 48. Oh, they're changing. I just realized that. What? They've, they've been alternating the yeah. same time. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Uh, 48. Okay, occasionally I'm like, I feel like a ray of sunlight has just hit me. I'm like, oh. 17? 48. 48 again? Y yes, yes. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> I very well as it kind of turns times. and looks up towards you, your, your quarter staff begins to glow once again, and you literally pull it up, and like you hit like a ray of light that is like coming downwards, and it casts a shadow down onto him. And as you bring it down, he literally just like melts before you just... <laughs> And all of the clothes sort of fall to the ground as he just dies instantly. Um, as she does that, she's going to say, may this bring you peace. And Ooh. she's like, oh, So gosh. cool. So Done. fucking cool. All right. Um, the ice method that uh -huh. Sildry hit on the first turn, that one, is going to fly to Sildry. Well, yeah, Minartok's going to get an opportunity attack and fucking miss. Um, Damn it. Yeah, uh, she, that one gets over towards you, and it is going to use its claws. Uh, it's a five. Hmm. On me? Yeah. Because no. here. Uh, I will attack this one in front of me. Go for it. Twice. Um, plank is plus two or advantage? Plus two. Okay. Uh, um, one is going to be a... 20 something. Yeah, that'll 20, hit. For four, I think. And then the other one's going to be a 17. Okay, that's going to do it. Okay. So that's going to be 2d6 because my short sword, and then 2d6 fire because of mine. Okay, six. yep, go for it. Um, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15. 24 damage. Lazarus, you are. Wow. What'd you get? 24. 24 damage? Mm -hmm. Ooh. One second. That's to the one she's been attacking. The, the method time, right? that's at me, mm -hmm. is that one hurt? You hurt yes. that one? You hurt, you hurt it. Okay. Uh, you take uh, your sword and swing twice into it, um, burning away at some of its clothing and revealing sort of its undead, uh, frozen body underneath. It, the body underneath is pure light, and just whatever flesh you see is necrosis. Just mm -hmm. gone. Um, and you burn away at something that's like, ah! It gets hit. Is that your turn? Um, 
Yeah, I think so. It's that one's turn. It is going to use its bonus action to target you with its blinding light. Can you roll a constitution saving throw? Yep. Is this the thing that did all that massive damage before? Natural 20. Ooh, Ooh, you are not blinded. Uh, it is going to do two slam attacks into you, Kazira. Uh, one of them is an 18, and the second one is a 10. Um, 18 will hit me. 10 will not. Okay. I have a reaction for that. Yep. Um, the, this does not seem like the same thing that she used, they used before that did all that damage. The slam? Yeah. It, no, it's using the slam. So, uh, okay. no, it, 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 yeah, it has the cold ray, which it's it fires out of its face. Right, right, right. Um, it's slam, it's like when it punches. It's just yeah. a bonk in me. Then I'll, I'll just use interception mm-hmm. instead. Okay. That's what I'll do. I, I think they have to be within 10 feet of you. Oh, but they have to be within 5 feet of me, yeah. but I will use my aura of the guardian to take the damage instead. You take the damage instead. Yep. Nice. That's why I was. That's why I was. Thinking. You take eleven mm. bludgeoning and fourteen cold, but okay. half the fourteen to seven. Damn. You take okay. eighteen. Eighteen. That cold. Good. Very good. Is clutch. Very good. Um, all right. Uh, the math, it, these are the two that flew over you. They're gonna fly towards you once again. Okay. Um, Which way? Five. Ten, Just over the house. 20, Twenty-five. Thirty. They they're gonna go down and towards you. And I think they can go thirty. Down we'll which see. way? Like, are they descending this way and then going underneath? They're following you, yes. Okay, cool. cool. Uh, let me find out where they are. Yeah. This one is, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just kidding. They're going to have to dash, and they're going to dash to get here. They're just going to keep following you. Um, yeah. And that'll be uh, these two. Okay, one more time? These Count, two. Count on it again? Yeah. Because 5, they, 10, 15, they, 20, they, 25, 30. Because they have to descend 20 as well. That's true. They have to the dash. The same would be one, two, and then probably about the same yeah, yeah. actually. Even so, if they dash, they can still. So it's these two. Where, where, where are they going? Uh, here and here. Okay. Here. That yeah. was why you stayed under. Good wow. job, wow. Baton. Um. Cool. And then the other two. Um. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna f- they're gonna go over to Sildry. Okay. These two. Uh, no. It's those, those two. two, yeah. Okay. Edward, slow down, bud. They're just gonna fly over to Sildry, both do attacks. Okay. Um, 11 and 5. Both miss. Okay. Okay, I think mean, this one right here. Where does it go? Me here? No, 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 no not that one. The, the clear one, like right, right there. The cold light walker that Sildry currently has grappled, which cannot move. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Which cannot move, uh, is... Just it has sixty foot on its cold ray, and you are sixty five feet away from it. Yay! You are five foot out of its range, so oh. it can't hit you, but it will hit Sildry. Sildry, it is hitting you with it um, with its uh, uh, cold ray. Uh, it gets a sixteen. I thought that was your AC. My AC is eighteen. Eighteen? Yep. Ooh! It looks at you, and it's and um ah. Uh, do it after it uh it begins to it, its face begins to like glow and it fires this ray at you and you as you're like holding it with the whip you just mm-hmm. dodge out of the way as it <laughs> soars past you and then as like a second juke move it uses its bonus action to try to blind you roll a constitution saving throw oh well, that's a dick move that was an 18 <laughs> and it'll succeed cool. uh you are good and then the final ice method will do the same thing as other ones did and it'll fly over to you being in between the other two yep perfect Top of the round, a Yemen talk is going to try to finish off this cold light walker. <laughs> Dropping my uh, dice. We're flanking, so she could plus two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she has a plus ten, so twenty-five and twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Um, so she is going to do so much damage that it dies. Good. Uh, she goes down and like claws it into the ground, so it falls, and then she uh, she bites down on its face and rips it off and throws it off the canyon and um, uh, pulls back down, uh, and she just like spits out other pieces. And she turns, she says, I have to get the last one. And uh, she's going to use the rest of her movement to pick up her great axe and uh, run 30 feet towards the other cold light walker. She can get there. Okay. Trade. Um, Sildry. Yep. I'm up. Yes. Let me make some fits. <sighs> um, let me think. Oh, she's there now. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna keep 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 him grappled. Uh, keep him grappled, and then I'm just gonna kind of bring up my foot and grab a dagger out of my boot and <laughs> toss it. <laughs> out of now, are, are the ice methods, uh flying still? Yes. I will throw it at the ice at the one oh, that I've damaged. It. Then, yeah. yeah, sounds good. 
do a ranged attack. Do it. At the one that I attacked. Yep. Previously. Uh, my dagger damage. Mm. Plus seven. Fifteen? Hit. Cool. That'll be seven, ten, mm -hmm. uh, fourteen damage to the one I hit previously. It is dead. And as it dies, it bursts. It explodes in a burst of jagged ice. Each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity uh, saving throw. Not within five feet. Throw. Huh? I'm not within five feet. You said they were flying above me, yeah? That's why I threw it. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's right. That's why I threw the dagger. The be they're ten, ten feet, feet up, up huh? now. <laughs> there you get explodes and nothing happens. Do those ice methods have to make that save? Yeah, but they're immune to cold damage. Oh. <laughs> And one goes, ah, why? Man. Why is it slashing? Never mind. It's Jerry. Oh, it's slashing it's damage. Slashing. He failed. Made he took ice. four damage from his buddy. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, which, one, which one? That's not that one. That's that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lazarus. And I'll hold the grapple uh, on the other one. I'm going to take the disengage action. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to kind of move. Like, move uh, Billy. Billy's. All right, this he way. goes on your turn now. You're controlling him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have him Perfect. go this way. And disengage towards the cold light walker. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have my bonus action go, Blazarus, how about still drink? I'm going to have Blazarus ram mm. that dude. Sounds good. Mm. Can you move him 60 feet this way? So that's five. I think they can still tag yeah. Billy, though. Yeah, he's 60 feet. So is he 30-30 is he, is he with his dash? Oh, it is? Oh, yes. No, he has movement of 60. Oh, my lord. So he can disengage. Right? Does he have an action? Can he disengage? Is that a thing? I think if they're going to attack, they attack, they would attack me. But I'm not the one writing it. That's a little weird. Right. Sorry, he has a speed of 40. Oh. Okay. Yeah, move, 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 yeah move, move, he move. can ram. <laughs> like here. So you so always have an action. So can he just dash? Uh, Here. Summon Steed. No, but the combat now. Find you Steed. Steed Here, I, oh, I, I will do Blazer's attack, though. So. Oh. I lied. It's fine. How dare you? I know. Why two of us? Yeah, it's true. It's that if uh, they can't attack the Steed, just so you know, They can't? They can. They can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what kind of figured. It's if I want to give myself buffs, I can make it give my. Yeah. Steve buffs too, which is kind of cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mounted feet is also crazy good. Yeah, yeah. Whatever damage is dealt to you, you can have it redirected to the steed. Just kind of yeah. sad. Any any spells that target you, you yeah. can also allow to target your steed. Yeah. So if you cast cure wounds on yourself, you can yeah. cure wounds your steed at the same time. That's so cute. Yeah. But it's also, very cool. uh, what is that like, lightning bolt or whatever that targets you? Yeah. Make it share the pain for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it should really have its own initiative. Um, but it is just the stat block. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he can attack. Okay, I, I'm just going to have him dash. Instead, okay, he can just dash, because so, his speed is 40. Sorry, okay, so I'm going to have him dash. Blasher's just going to attack that guy. Okay. He's going to deal uh, 12 points of magical slashing damage Ooh. to that to that guy. To the Cold Light Walker. All right, yeah. he's bloodied. Fuck. I guess I'm then just gonna have him move 40 feet around the corner. <laughs> like, good boy! <laughs> it's on the other side of the building. Right here? No, no, have no. him go completely on the other. There we go. <laughs> Alright, immolation. Okay. Um, I guess 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 here? 25? Alright. And I'm Attack? Oh, yeah, plus two. Perfect. Where's my d20? Where did it go? Oh, some right there. It's in front of your book. Oh. Hiding. Always. That's a 15 on the dice. Hit. Um, I will do one little smite now. Well, one widow smite? One widow just a widow smite. Widow smite. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Widow smite. yeah just, just, just... That's my rap two. name. Widow smite? Yeah. Widow okay. smite. Eight, eight plus five is... Why am I not doing math? 13? Yeah. Thank you. Plus think. 7 is 20. Plus 5 is 25. Ooh, mortal. Damn. Uh, technically, one more hit. Sorry. That probably will not. Uh, plus 8. Uh, 12. 12? Hit? Yeah. No, miss. Perfect. Sorry. Perfect. Now that's perfect. Plus 2? Oh, 14? No, uh, it hits. <laughs> nope. 
Okay. Um, what a I will roller coaster just, this has I been. Will just, I will just <laughs> hit with my quarterstaff this time. Uh, ten. ten. Oh, he's dead. Hey. <laughs> you just whack him across the head and he dies. Yeah. Call. Um, I'll, I'll drop the grapple. Kazira. Yeah. Um, <laughs> On his corpse. <laughs> yeah. Can I go 5, 10, 15, 20 up here? And you can. Walk? Oh, he's too far. Man, I can't see. Uh, oh, here comes the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming back. Oh. Can I try to swing at him from hanging off of the thing since he's up 10 feet? You want to climb the outhouse? Yeah, and try to swing at him. Yeah. Cool, perfect. Right, cool. Two attacks. Just get right on the edge of that outhouse. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to hit. Um, <laughs> one would be a 15. Heat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Heat. Okay, and the other one would be a 12. Yep. Both heat? Uh, yes. <laughs> Do I need to split the slashing and the fire? Nope. Nope. Yes, it's vulnerable to fire. Mm. Oh, so smart. That's cool. All right, sharp dice will be fire damage. This will be the other ones. So, fifteen slashing and uh, five fire. So ten fire. He's vulnerable. Cool. Uh, which one did you hit? The ice, the actual ice mythic. The actual ice one. Yep, that one's dead. That one's dead. Um, it explodes as well. Roll a dex 37 throw. Oh. Apu. Apu. Which one exploded? Three. Three? Oh, yeah. I see. You're on the wall. Three! <laughs> I rolled a four. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. A save? A uh, six. <laughs> oh, eviscerated. How um, much Six? How much damage did you deal? Seven. Seven. Um, <clears throat> remove that one off the board if you can. Uh, yeah. And then the Bye. two that are following Lazarus. Whoa, you're fucking gone. Uh, they're just going to attack Immolation. Okay. Those two. So they can get all the way to Immolation? Yeah. Do what about this boy? Fucking no, they can't. They got a dash to get to Immolation. Five, 10, 15, 20, right here. All right. Hello, the boys have come. Uh, they oh, have, gross. indeed. Um, and yours? then the oh. other ice method, the orange one, is uh-huh. going to attack Azira. Uh, with a 17. Uh, 17 hits me. You yes. take... I'm going to actually roll their damage. Whoa. Whoa. Three, four slashing, plus two cold. Six. And then the last one over here is going to flight you immolation and dash. Top of the round is OEM and Artok. She is, uh, ooh, there's some guys. Yeah, they on, are those She's going to walk the around. They're, yeah, they're, they're five feet. You can hit them within five feet. They're, she's going to go over. She's going to whack that one. Why don't she, ooh, why big don't miss. she get, like, in, in no, the no. That's a, that's a, that's a 12. That hits. Oh. Yeah, right there is fine, too. And uh, that will also hit. She'll Perfect. do so much damage to it that it dies and explodes. Both of you roll a dexterity saving throw. Perfect. Um, uh, plus, four. Four. Within five feet? plus four. Within five feet? Within ten. Five feet. Oh, That's yeah. That's a Blazers natural one. Okay. That's what's so oh, no. Oh, oh Blazers is fucking look at you. Stop bud. staring directly. I rolled one. one. I rolled a one. Slashing. Everybody takes one, no okay. matter what you rolled. Perfect. All of us? Perfect. Are you within five feet? Of here? I was of not. Uh, so you, yeah, Blazarus, Immolation, and oh, yeah, and talk take one. Uh, one and damage. then she's going to use her second attack. Oh, no, she's both attacked to kill that one. Sildred, it's your turn. All right. Uh, there's three left. Yes. One of them's attacking Kazira, and Indeed. that's not fun. Nope. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, I'll whip it. That one's actually high up, too. Yeah. So go whip for it. Whip it. Oh, cool. Crit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Whoa. I think you're dead. All right. So it'll be this plus one yes. d- more d6. Six, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, plus five, twenty-one damage. Exactly, it's health. It dies. Because <laughs> zero roll deck thirty six. Oh, uh, uh, deck save is yeah. seventeen. I almost uh, imagine because you take one slashing. Damage. I almost imagine because the whip is like the whip is like. Uh, uh, has a blade tip on it now. Mm-hmm. When she when she cracks out at it, instead of it wrapping like it normally would and slicing, it just goes straight through it. Yeah, st- <laughs> and then it just our ice shards just <laughs> go everywhere and sort of hit you a little bit. Uh, Lazarus, sorry. Uh, what the fuck? 
fuck am I gonna do now? Are you gonna shoot at it? Yeah. I'm gonna say you you we're, we're coming to the end of the fight here. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna spend my my time running. <laughs> uh, what an odd. You did a good job running. Uh, yeah. I love it. He said, "Concentration." I was like, "I'm out of here." Bye. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing. I'm gonna have yeah. So so have it run, but as it hits that, I'm going to so I because because I think I'm because of my disengage. I'm on like its side. I'm gonna have it run, yeah. and then I'm gonna get off it, and then I'm gonna go into that barrel things and hide in there. In the, Actually, in the owl house? No, no, no in that in thing. Here? Oh, yeah, okay. in the wood. But, 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 but I'm, I'm going to Billy keep running around the thing as if Amazing. I'm on top of it. So. <laughs> you just bail off of Billy. Like right so here. good. Immolation. Um, I will uh, I will hit. I will hit this mech I right here. I use my hide, though. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yeah. That hits. I'm just and then that'll be uh, even more to hit. Both of them hit, and it is vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. Oh, perfect. What? Uh, nine, so eighteen. Uh, okay. Um, that one dies immediately because it uh, <laughs> was hit by Sildry earlier. Perfect. That one explodes. Everybody roll a deck save. Oh, oh yeah, and our talk fucking fails again. Uh, she had a plus four for me. That's uh, then she oh. still fails because that oh. would be a ten. <laughs> Damn, I just got a twenty then with that plus four. Yeah. Uh, two slashing damage. If you if you su- if you succeeded, one slashing damage. Whoa. Uh, you can use your other attack to hit the perfect, other one if you'd perfect. like. So good roll damage. I would love to. Uh, just twelve. Just twelve? Is that doubled already? Yep. That's All right. That one is more. Oh. It is bloodied, but not dead. Plus five. Uh, twelve. Seventeen. Eight more. Wouldn't the five be doubled? Six plus five is eleven, so twenty-two. Oh, it's dead. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. It explodes, but only Yamanar <laughs> tucks outside of it. So blasters and immolation. <laughs> one, just one, no matter what. We're rolling one again. And is that all of them? Yes. Yeah. Oh shit! You go over and whack the last one. It explodes. Mm-hmm. You look around. All of you sort of out of breath. Everything is gone. The wind sort of like fades. You guys are left inside the sun. Uh, the the sunset once again. Wow. Um, let go. The, the poop room and <laughs> down to the. <laughs> you jump down into the snow. I think that went better than. Expected, to be honest. Yeah. I didn't know they had a crazy eye beam. Yeah, that's new. (sighs) Indeed. They are very dangerous. You fought well, all of you. Can you, like, sense them? You knew they were coming. I cannot sense them, no. But I know the Icewind Dale very well. I know many creatures that pass through it. Oral, she uh, has this ability to sense. She can see slightly into the future. Yeah, knows when to send her minions. Knows where they should be. Right. I knew that they were coming here. And after seeing the sunrise, I knew that why they were here. That seems really bad for our future plans. Huh? Well, that she might, might know. She might know. Yeah. yeah. Oral is a demigod. Right. I feel like the emphasis on Demi. <laughs> do you um, do you think there's a way to loosen her hold? I do not know. Yeah, either way, our plans don't change. I think we already did a little bit. Nah, for sure, but that doesn't mean she won't keep sending people. True. I also um, often like to keep an eye on this place, this black cabin. Why? I knew the people who built it. Mm-hmm. It, um was a uh, safe haven for them for the time being. That time was long past. Who built it? Rangers from the north. Friends of yours? I'd like to think so. She looks around to the rest of you um, and she sort of like cricks her neck a bit um, and uh, you watch as her form sort of like slowly shifts downwards and she transforms into that of a Goliath once again. And uh, she has this long white hair that is like braided and um, knotted and has all of these like beads and um, and uh, uh, wrappings inside of them and uh, she just has like this sort of like light leathers and fur on her with uh, like a fishing pole on her back and like a walking stick along with her battle axe she just mm-hmm. carries it all with ease she says if you'd like I can um, be a guide to you this place 
I know where many places are in the Icewind Dale. I could lead them for you. Though, um, I have this service for a week. There are other business I must attend to, but I'd like to help you in any way that I can. I'm looking for, um, a moose. Yeah, currently. Mm-hmm. What? What? Talking moose. What about those caves for your kids? Oh. Do you know where the caves of hunger are? The caves of hunger. That's important. You have to give me a second. Ah, no. That's fair. Craig's over here with all the good questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Craig to bring up the rangers from the north. <laughs> yeah, Craig. Yeah, Tell Craig. us about your friends. They're cool. <laughs> they cool. built me back. No, the, like, <laughs> that's him. <I> Called Strider. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Strider. Strider. I think I'm in my head. <sighs> Did you give him the centipede card? <laughs> no, we talked about it today, though. Yeah, he's, he's avoided it. Yeah. Oh. Avoided all human he's interaction. He's been a good boy. Yeah. Centipede uh, came up at table today, and he was like, I don't care. Just don't show me a picture of it. Don't describe it. And they could be here. But. She says, yes. Could the you? Caves of Hunger are um, It's a long lost place. Why are you trying to find it? Find some long lost kids. Yeah, my kids are there. Two of them. Uh, very strange. Are you sure? Um, we believe that um, Knowles took them. Mm. And those are the. We've already been to the Cackling Chasm. They weren't there. Um, That's a good point. You know all. You said you knew a lot of creatures go through. You know any different ones? A knoll? A but, white knoll. Red eyes. I've heard stories of what you speak of, though I do not know if there is any truth to them. Mm. I should explain first. The Caves of Hunger are sealed. They've been long sealed since the um, everlasting rhyme has pervaded Icewind Dale. Frozen by a lot of ice. No one has been able to enter in or out for a long time. You said you've heard tales of a white knoll. You heard where it's been? Where it might stay? I have heard tale of a knoll, a ghost like knoll, who haunts the Icewind Dale supposedly had taken its lair in the Caves of Hunger. But he shouldn't. He should be sealed there, never to escape. His name is Tekalili, and he's a vampire. What a perfect place to hide in the Icewind Dale. No sun. No. Come on. Have you been to the Caves of Hunger before? I've never been inside, but I've heard of them. Could you point them out on the map? Of course. Let me open Photoshop. Ah, what? Well, of course. She pulls out a map. What is that? Here. Yeah. You see the spinning beetle. She says, too. while we travel together, if you would have me, um, nothing will stand in our way. I know where things walk and where things stride. Well, you, if, as long as uh, Oyam and Arctoc is guiding you, you won't have any encounters. Oh, Ooh. that's very cool. Yo, we could use that to go up north. To to the prisons. Mm-hmm. Or to the or to the tower. What's in the tower? Sure. Both of those are things we if need to do. Could, if she could help us kill that honest, wizard guy. He's like a week, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe we could do that and then your kids after. Maybe. Depends on where. What are you doing, sir? Do not drink his water. Don't you do it. I see you sniff. I bet you a little taste, though. A little... Yeah. A little, a little sip. A little sip. <laughs> he, he was drinking out of a glass the other day, and it was a clear glass, so I actually got to see like what he looks like when he's doing it. It's so cute. His eyes are like... <laughs> he's <little> squished in. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, he'd, he'd pull back a little bit, and he'd just be like... 
Oh, you sweet boy. Menace. Wow. She's uh, editing our map. Yeah. Uh, star charting. Oh. Star charting. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. <laughs> What is the distance from that and the black cabin? Uh, y'all wanna um, you wanna show the chat real quick? Just aim the camera um, so they can black see. Black cabin is here. Yeah, it's not even on the. <laughs> black cabin this is, is the there. black cabin. And uh, there, yeah, yeah, there's the caves of hunger. Where no. the fuck? Are where, where is the next closest thing on the map? The worm doom clap. I mean, you need to go we here. could go to the spire and then to the caves uh, from there, okay. I guess. Isn't isn't that where um, the horde of um, our dragon friend. I think our very The glacier? Yeah. Um, oh. So, uh, out of game. Uh, the book does not specify where our Veraturus' lair oh, is. Cool. It is just in the Raghead Glacier. Oh. So we'll be going... Knows where the fuck her lair But is. we'll basically be going to her lair if we go there. Like, yeah. not exactly, but... How far is it to get from here to there? I will measure it. Uh, Give me one I will second. measure it. Yeah. Are we Are we going to do the spire on the way there? Because it's not the that big of a... The black cabin to the Caves of Hunger? Yes. 44 miles. Which is... Oh. How many miles do we go a day? On uh, the two dog miles sets? an hour. So we go 16 a day. So it's like a three and a half day journey. Okay. I think we get your kids first. No, it's a three day journey, give or take. We're going to have to go to the, sp the spire, though. We can do that after, though. I'm oh, probably not with your kids, kids though. There. It's on the way, uh, kind of. It's, a, it's If we go... If we just cut through... We just made a loser. Well, no. If it's three days, too, we're not we're not losing too much time by going there and up. How long would it be if we went from the cabin to the spire to the caves? Probably. Cabin to the spire. Five days. Twenty-one miles. Okay, so a day and a half. And then it's thirty miles. And then okay. another day, another two days. So okay. four and a half days okay. would get okay. us up there. Yeah. I I hear that, but I'm also gonna point out that like. The reason we're going to Lonelywood wasn't just for the moose, it's because there are druids there. Yeah. And the frost druids who are fucking shit up. Mm -hmm. I think if we go out there, the frost druids, we. I know we won't have an necessarily an encounter, but I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just. I'm worried about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether they're waiting for us in the case of hunger or some other shit, too. I don't know. Well, here, mm -hmm. we, only, we only need a day here to find the moose, um, probably, and do yeah. that. And then we still have enough time to get to the spire in the caves with mm -hmm. our guide. Jacob, quick question. The way back. In, yeah, I guess you should know where the moose is. Um, the way back is going to be Rune, a Oh, a week is a 10 day, right? Okay. So we have it for 10 days, not six. Oh. Seven. Yes. Mm. Then, yeah, then we'll do okay. Hmm. That's right. Then we stay. So we, we could stay for a day. Find the moose. I think we could even get in case of hunger than back over right here. Yeah. What, go like Spire, Caves, Revels? Yeah. If we're just, we if we're just going, there, if we're just going in, what, what do we need to go to Rebels for? She wants to kill some guy. Are we going in to kill him? Or I thought we waited until he, his time was up and then get him when he walked out the door. It's up to her. If that's if that's what you want to do, you have I don't know three and a half weeks to think about what you want. But yeah, I mean, we, the benefits we know where he's at. We, we, we don't know where he's gonna go. When we uh, I, have yeah. three and a half weeks to plan what we're gonna do. Yeah. And you're um, pretty good at finding people. Probably even better now that you can see. It does help. And there's not a lot of people in the tent. And left. from what you've told us, he seems like the person who would be easily found. Mm. I apologize. Ready. I must know. I. Uh, I don't like to um, make my presence known to the ten towners. Right. I try to avoid them as much as possible. Okay. So that you say you don't want to go to Lonelywood? I'd prefer to stay away from those towns. Okay. Though I, heard, I hear that Lonelywood isn't much of a city anymore. So no, a couple of them people. aren't. Why, Do you know anything? Go ahead. Why are you uh, avoiding them? My place isn't with them. I prefer to stay in the wilds. That's fair. Uh, Lonelywood was abandoned. There were, we only saw two people there. Many of the people in the ten towns already have the help they need. There could be someone lost, people like you out here in the middle of nowhere, that may need my assistance. Do you 
on your way over here, did you happen to see a white deer? Moose? Moose. moose. I've heard about this moose. Mm -hmm. I have not seen it, but I've heard it's killed many people. Yeah, near a where monster. Uh, trying to find it. Mm. We've heard of druids waking creatures up in a way. I mm. could help you find them. Murderous. Yeah. Frost druids working for or Yeah. We could hunt a moose. Yeah. We could help. Maybe we do that and then head to the lost bar. Yeah. In the caves. Okay. I'm okay with this. And then once we deal with the caves. You have made up your mind on what we'll do next. I'll probably know by then. Yeah. Some time to think then. No rush. Seems like a big decision. It kind of is, yeah. Don't know what I'd do to the man that ruined my life. Probably want to plan it out. You might get to find out soon, huh? Maybe. Well then, I guess we have a plan. Yeah. Let's go find a moose. Let's do that. Yeah. Should we right. rest? Yes. Wasn't it nighttime? We should rest. <laughs> um, I you? I have a question. Uh, before we before we, we break out, uh, I would like to she, she'll turn to Yemen and I'll talk and she'll be like, just, mm -hmm. just one moment. Uh, I would like I wanted to discuss something with my group real quick. Uh, yeah, confer. Of then, course. Uh, and then she'll turn and she'll be like, okay, so I am concerned about us holding on to this magic orb right. for very long. I don't think um, it's good in anybody else's hands. Who are we going to give it to, Velen? I was thinking of Yemenar talk. She walks anyway. She's going to be all over the place. She'll be hunted. She'll be hunted, but she's also very capable. And I think that she could bring light to a lot of parts of the Ten Tons, whereas we, where would we go? And we park, if we went back to Bryn mm -hmm. we're only putting your family in danger. Right. Putting everyone in danger. I, it's just something to think about. Well, we have a week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That is a very good decision. No, I don't know. I particularly care one way or the other. I think it would slow her down. And her, she seems to be finding people that are lost and helping them. I think her being hunted the entire time would have given her a lot of freedom to do that. I, I think that's a decision that she could make on her own, though, too. Yeah. No, I absolutely yeah. agree, but we're kind of stronger together. Because what happened, it would fall into their hands. No, I, I agree with that. I, obviously, more people are going to help, right, keep it safe. Mm -hmm. But I think that she's lived this long out here in the ice wind. I, already. She's I, made I just, a tougher stuff then. She goes, you, you don't get... And she's going to gesture behind her. Mm. That old. As a barbarian living by yourself. Not barbarian. Goliath living by yourself. No, but I think she does by avoiding people. By avoiding right. responsibilities. By avoiding having a target on your back. By a demigod. Especially one that is Cindy. That can see some of the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She walks over. <laughs> um, transforms back into her hybrid form. Yeah. Um, and as she kind of looks down towards all of you. And Blazer's going, mm, looks up at her. She says, how were you able to bring back the sun? And we'll gesture to the thing we're all talking about. Sort of like still like spinning slightly. Mm. Does that hover? Huh? No. No, okay. I will we'll hold it. What is this? Device. <laughs> yeah, magic device. There was mm. a, a man here trying to build it. We yeah. fixed it. I guess we built it. See. We completed Kinda. it. You almost didn't. Hey. Took you hey now. showing up in the <laughs> hey plane to trust me. Do we know what the, the radius of this 
This is, I assume you would have a better idea. I, I'll just tell you. Yeah. Um, it's not everything, right. but it's immediate. Five miles. Five miles. Uh, five miles. That's, that's at least what I could see. Right. Right. I touched it and then I got pulled up. And she told me about a beacon now, so I touched it and then dropped me back down. <laughs> Another hand <laughs> touches the beacon. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, Condor concert. Yeah, I. I mm -hmm. Not, not all wise. No, no but it doesn't last for very long. You have to concentrate on it. Right. right. I will say, if we're going to a den full of where, of uh, vampires, the sun being out would be quite nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, I think so. Because I just. I also saw the way the Tin Towners reacted to that, that pot of food, right? Everlasting food. Um, this would cause... I just don't think we tell any of those fuckers about it. Not until we're done. Yeah, None. fuck them. Wish Tom it's a good day. <laughs> 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 They'll believe it. Yeah. Most of them. And if we are using it, we shouldn't mention it to anyone. What do you think? About what? This. That thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's dangerous. No, yeah. very. I think it's very. I do not think it is our solution. No, no. it is not. I think an opposition towards oral is one more um, appropriate. That's our goal. I do not think we should mount an assault with ten towners against <laughs> oral. No. No. Would you fight with us? I would. Uh, who else? Who else would you use? Hmm. Who else would you use, though? Where are you? She looks around at you and she says. You're our only hope. Yeah. When the time comes, how do we find you? I will find you. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she's too cool. That's I know. I'm like, if, you, if you weren't married, right? <laughs> incredibly cool you are. I think that this is important. I think it brings back hope to people. It's yeah, been so long. It should since be shared. The rest of the ten towns should see this experience it bit by bit how are you feeling are you still gonna kill copper pot or whatever his name is no 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 we got no to improve right i just stuff some slug i mean i yeah he he, he, he he's gonna die right yeah he chill he can stay in his fuzzy outfit <sighs> How would you feel? About He's a little it? teddy bear. How could you mm -hmm. kill him? What? Like this? <laughs> uh, how would how would you feel about uh, carrying this around? Well, spreading the sunlight around the Icewind Dale would be good. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Keeping Oral's attention fixated on me is not yeah. a good decision. What about, you have contacts with the rangers up north, right? Mm, they operate on their own. They are not, um, they're very neutral. They serve their own benefits. Mm -hmm. They, I could speak with them, but I don't know if you would like their answer. See, so it might be good to speak. Spread the wealth around. You want me to take this north? For a bit? Then have someone send it south for a bit? Then have someone else send it east for a bit? Send right. it west for a bit? No. I know I know. Oral is... I don't know if I agree with that. ...ever present I. and always watching, but she goes... I could take it then. I don't know if I agree with that. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think maybe after she's dead, that could be a wonderful thing to do. But right now, right now. You think about how terrified the Ten Towners are. Right now. Yeah. Of okay. every waking moment. Sure. They need to be reminded that there's good in this world, too. Yeah, we go into the Ten Towns, though. They don't need... Yeah, we we can do that. I'm not I'm not saying we enact and we go do it ourselves, but we could we could give them a clear day. And sure, there, there's a difference though between us showing our face and us showing that the god is not having the power over this place that she she used to. Sure, her, but her power is slipping. The the problem is, like we can send it up north and mm -hmm. the rangers can take it, but then when it comes back south, who gets it? 
Yeah. Some and random fuck tin towner or I was the to trust speaker of Bryn Shander. I, I don't trust any of them. I was, yeah, I was willing to <laughs> trust her <laughs> and her abilities. Right. Not some random fool who just wants it's to spread. It's what she got together? No, that's very different. Neutral. I think we've seen a lot of people and if, and if turn we turn to, mm-hmm. I don't know, under Oral's influence. And if it ends up somewhere down in the Ten Towns without us there, what's stopping Oral from just sending some cold light walkers it's into It's cold in your hands. I'm oh, sorry, it's safe in your hands. Yeah. I don't think you should do nothing with it. Exactly. I think we should hold on to it. I think, I think it's a danger for everyone else. I think it's safer for us if, I think it's safer for everyone else if we keep it. The difference I see it as is that we know the risk. We are taking on this risk. Giving it to someone else. Then we can't, then we cannot go back to our house. No. And spend a week there. We just can't. Well, we aren't. That's done. No, we're not. The only time we return is when we have Kazira's last missing children. And then from that point, we'll do we go job. for her. Because right. after that, we'll have the knowledge we might need from the spire. Hopefully, that we'll one's the back. Then give it to me. Give it to me, and I will take it. I don't care for the Ten Towners, but the immolation is right. But they need to be reminded. You have more important business t- to accomplish. You have more that you can do, and I can handle myself. Let me take it. What we and find your children. What? What do we think? I trust her with her. I do as well. But only you. Uh, trust me, I don't intend to give it to any tend to die. No, I, 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 my <laughs> problem is I don't know if you intend to die. I don't think anyone intends to do any of that. I worry about her no. intentions for you. No. You're tough. But what this will do to them, and what this will bring, is worth it. I would look to the sun and go, it's the first time I've seen it. And it brought her back. But it also brought them. I worry that it will only bring, it won't only bring hope. Then break. allow this to be a reminder. There's opposition always. No. She goes, she goes, the ten towners I've already handed it to you've her. met, she goes, those are not the ten towners I knew 30 years ago. They are a different breed. This they are living in, in fear and under oppression. I think this is our chance, if anything, to wake them up from their slumber. This will be it. Right, but we don't want to wake them up just for them to march to their death. No. I they won't, and that's why you have to stop Oriel. Yes, none well, of them would. Yeah, that's my plan. All right then. Okay. All right. You should rest. I will, I will take my leave. Sleep no. like the dead. Uh, you're you're coming with us, right? We're gonna do Lonely Wood and. Oh right, we're going to Lonely Wood. You're gonna do all that, and then and then yeah. after that, you you can split from us. We'll yeah, why don't you just give it back? We'll just hold on to it for now. <laughs> but you know, in, in ten days from now. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus likes to put She says things. you should rest. I will return. Yeah, go ahead. You can sure. go off fishing. Indeed. And she takes the summer star and she sort of slings it on her shoulder and she walks off towards the woods. Sit. And okay. then watch, I guess, the sunset as my in my dormant. All right. As the sun slowly sets, eventually it becomes night once again. And you watch as the aurora begins to spread overhead. The rest of you spend the night in the black cabin. Everybody can long rest. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. No level. No. Sorry. Yeah. How close are we? That's fine. Um, it, it, with Icewind Dale, with this, it's a milestone. It's yeah. when an event happens. Right. So, um, I, I, I'm not going to uh, tell you what it is. Why did I think it was... Did you change that? Because I feel like when we started, it was like... Oh, every it, time we completed yeah, X number you're of you're out events. of that now. Okay. Um, I, you're outside of the completing events. Now okay. it's 
story beats is what you Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You clearly, clearly said we didn't level, but my brain went, level? <laughs> um, when you guys awaken, it is still dark outside. Mm-hmm. You are each woken by Oyama and Artop. Those are turned back to you. As you each wake up, she takes the summer star off her shoulder. She puts it down on the ground. She says, I was in Bryn Shander. I didn't go inside the city, but enough to spread the light around. After about eight hours, it stopped. Can you cast it again? I tried. I think it's done. I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, but, um,. I do hope that they appreciated from what, what, what they got. Yeah, sure they did. I think we should leave it here. Okay. Just Very thank you. Good. Of course. Will I be accompanying you? And as long as you'd like to accompany us. Ten days. Perfect. That's a, that's a great amount of time. Yeah, it's almost, almost perfect. <laughs> Literally perfect. Right. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to go find that moose. Let's do that. Get ready. She sort of gets everybody up. You guys all prepare to take off. Kinda, I want to leave like a like an engraving in Elvish on this black cabin. Okay. I'm just going to do that. What does it say? Um, it's going to be an Elvish going to say on... Hmm. On white... Hmm. On white banks, we move against a feathered foe. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, as we are kind of packing up, uh, Immolation will like kind of saddle up towards, uh, or saddle up to um, William and our talk. And she'll be like, why aren't you with the other Goliath? Where's your clan? She says, I've always been a traveler. I've always felt a call to adventure. I've traveled with similar groups like yours. You remind me a lot of myself when I was younger. I left when I was very young. Mm -hmm. I had no family, no people I cared about. And for the most part, many of these Goliaths I respect their traditions, but sometimes they appear to be stuck in their ways. I didn't want to change them. I decided I'd rather live the life I wanted to live. And I've been for the better ever since. There's a lot of freedom up here. You can kind of claim. Indeed, it's quiet. Yeah. But sometimes... Too quiet. If you listen, you can hear voices. Sure that's not just Billy talking to you? A lawyer beg, where, where? I uh, have long wished to gaze upon your eyes. And he says, oh, it talks. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Um, Good to meet you, Billy. Yes. You're a fine, fine Goliath. Yeah. And he sort of nods his head and he's like, all right, okay. (laughs) What? just have made... (laughs) Um, Aren't we uh, looking for talking animals? Ah, uh, hello. I have not spoken yeah, okay. to any of you. <laughs> yes. My That's just Billy. my steed. That's just my steed. This is Billy. She summoned it at the bottom of the gorge. Yeah, he, he's just, he's actually... I have long awaited for immolation to speak yeah. my name. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have been sent by Lothander himself <laughs> to be oh. a light in this darkness. Yeah. My intelligence is nine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I think it is six. <laughs> I do not know math. I cannot read. She, she gives but I can oh, that feels feel very good. She Thank goes, you. trust me, um, he, he, he's not a real... She doesn't cover his little ears. She goes, he's not a real animal. Mm. He's, he's just a fae being. 
Gotcha. You uncover Zeus and says, were you telling them how much you love me? I was. Yeah. And it was Good. like, that this it. much. Oh, that, yeah. that much? That's a lot. I can't spread my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe no. <don't. laughs> she goes, uh, but uh, he's very excited to be here to be to help us right. in our quest. Right. And, uh, I will follow you all to the end, so long it is, as it's with immolation. Right. Gotcha. She goes, uh, that's why, though, that you were able to, to ride Billy here. Billy is quite fond of all of you. So. Your legs are very cold. <laughs> so they're metal. Yeah. I'll try and work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Do some squats. <laughs> yeah. You guys gather your things yeah. Yeah. and prepare to head out towards Lonely Wood to find this moose. Yeah. Uh, but that's where we're going to end tonight's game. Yeah. Indeed. Sheesh. 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 Quite, uh, I was quite that the sheesh. quite an interesting yeah. game. Yeah. 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 I agree. Sheesh. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for joining for tonight's game of Ice and Dough. I'm the Frost Game. <sighs> We're actually going to finally uh, take a little break and not play for like, a <laughs> week or two. Yeah. We've played like three <laughs> episodes over the course of like no, two weeks. No, we've done four so, over the course of uh, two We'll weeks. be coming back uh, uh, in two weeks, but next week, hopefully, we'll have Avnia and Fallout. Yes. So... Thanks for joining, guys. We'll see you guys next time here in Arcade Arcade. Appreciate you. We love you. And that's the end of the stream. Beetle and Grim. And Beetle go check Grimm's. out Beetle and Grim's link in the description. Ooh. Okay, bye. bye.